All right. Anyway. Welcome back, YouTube and Twitch folks. Let's upgrade our Sanguinary X. Our holy work continues. Because I forgot I'd gotten this last time. Ah, so it doesn't always upgrade both. So now it does more healing, but Fellow not more charges. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus's divine radiance Ow. through me. Ma'am, ma'am, you're bleeding. You. Ma'am, that's great, but you're bleeding very, very badly. You might need to get you into a doctor because I, I feel like you might be in deep, deep trouble. And Santa Aquarium. I, I thought that every like that game, that old pop cap game in San Aquarium, it was like an old clicker style game. Uh, I always in my head sang it as in San Aquarium. Also, we have some new talk options. Oh, that's right. He wanted those things, bloody Asper Gillums. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy this spell. Again, I don't know if we can actually use it since our current weapon already does it, but fuck it. We'll go and give it to him. This land is overflowing with sin, so I expect this undertaking to offer you little difficulty. Also, say nothing of this to Piet. They are already conflicted. All right, yeah, yeah. Hand it over. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, all facets of this heterodoxy must be exposed. So gotta be heterodoxy. Hope you're liking my outfit. This outfit works really well with our custom. I'm glad we took the extra couple of minutes. I think this outfit works super well with our like weird tattoos and markings and shit. I think that looks makes me look completely goddamn bonkers insane. Voices are too bright. Hmm. Interesting. I hadn't thought about it. Uh, warp. I think it's this one. There was an option there to do a random warp. Like, what was the point of that? Like, just send me somewhere. I'll go kill stuff there. Surprise me. I can make the font bigger if you're old eyes are having trouble reading them, Jolinar. I did notice that option in the settings. Alright. We're gonna need to... Hey, yeah, thanks. So we figured out a better way to kill these dudes. Excuse me. Hard new. It's the wasted space. It is a little high, I think. I gotta change my spell, but that's alright. also looking at my frame rate, which is not great. This is actually the guy who dropped my amazing necklace. My choker. That my Dom boyfriend got for me. I'm such a bratty sub. Kind of regret that whole line of dialogue. Y'all seen that, um... That, like... Harvest Moon, but spooky game. I forget what it's called. Or not Harvest Moon. It actually might be called... I forget what it's called, but it's like... Like more of a horror-themed Stardew Valley. Yeah. Vampire? Uh, I don't think it's Vampire. It has a demo. It's out now, too. It doesn't have many reviews, but they're mostly positive. We have that prick up there, so that's gonna make this be kind of pain. 
Uh, we might be able to just run by. Fuck it. Go. What a thrill! There is one behind me, too. There he is. Alright, because this is where I was like, oh, fuck this, because he's got a Pyrrhus thing. But we don't have a choice. Nah, it's not Moonlight Peaks. Surely I can't. No. I'm gonna have to do it over here. Alright, so at least that's got like a decent range. I took one for you, boss. Never mind, boss. Sure, there's some shit over here. I really am hoping this whole like jumping puzzle shit is a temporary phase and you grow out of it game. Nobody likes this shit in a game with bad jumping. You gotta be careful, this hammer pulls you very far forward as you get discovered in the past. Hallow to praise. That's one of those swords again. Oh, there's a ladder. I was like, there's nowhere to go. Harvest Island, that's it. I grabbed the demo. I wanted to play it at some point. Wow, there's not an enemy right there waiting to push me off? Holy shit. Also, keep an eye out for butterflies, moths, whatever they are. I think they're just moths. If I don't notice them, feel free to tell me. There's another... dude somewhere. There he is. Oh, fuck it. Christ. Now we gotta get rid of, of this. Oh, there he is. This is gonna be annoying. Oh, luckily he... It's like, damn it, Gary, come block me. Idiot. There's a shortcut ladder. All right, we'll have to fight this guy. All right, I was letting him do that because he does like a flurry of attacks uh, when after he self-flagellates some kind like some kind of a weirdo. Game. How about you don't randomly untarget? That would be neat. Fucking just like the game's like, you know what? I'm tired of having him targeted. He is slightly behind something. But the damage in this game is fucking ludicrous. What is the second thing? Was choppy as hell. Actually, this armor has more, well, armor, physical protection than the other shit I was wearing. As it should be. Everybody knows the less you have on, the more protected you are. 
Is this a kick him out? No. Let me guess. Nope, wrong. Okay, no. I hate how they can attack you from the nether realm or whatever. Oh, here we go. That's what we're doing, huh? Alright, fine. I'll do it. Uh, Q. Oof, man, the fucking frame rate. I just gotta have to turn everything on low. Like, it's fine when I'm walking around, but as soon as I get in combat, it's like. Like, I'm sure you can kind of feel it too. Yes, we landed in Siren Hill. Stop having jumping shit game. Holy shit. Please. Your games are not good at this. Stop. Let's take a break from killing demons in Doom and let's have a city builder or a stealth section. A range dude somewhere? That's shocking. Good lord. These guys have insane range. No game. Game. See that guy right there? No, apparently you don't see that guy right there. Because it will not let me target him. Alright, well. Oh, that's right, you stay, like, fully charged here. I forget. Oh, and they also forgot that they go back. What? For fuck's sake, game. You see that go through the fucking, uh, environment? Maybe if enemies can snipe you from... Literally another country. Maybe make sure here. Maybe make sure your other shit's working, guys. The collision. Just an idea. So, oh, let's kick this. There. Thank God, a shortcut. Yeah, the game looks great. And like I said, you know, before the stream, it was playing fine. Can you actually target this guy? Holy shit, you can. I don't understand. That guy wasn't that far away considering, like, other enemies I've been able to snipe. Nope. The wrong thing, so I... Oh, I think he's hitting the, the ladder's hitbox. Hey, look. I would never abuse bad hitboxes for my own benefit. Ever. Except this one time. This one time I'll do it. But other than this... Crimson Rector Sword. I know there's other enemies behind. I could feel like I could design these games at this point. Like, because I know where the enemies are all going to be. No, no, Tart. I think he wasn't, like, in the world yet. But he wasn't. Targeting him. Or he couldn't target, rather. Uh, 
Oh, the other one. Oh, I hit one. My love. Your Mighty, this fucking frame rate. I was gonna have to drop as soon as we end. I was gonna have to drop everything to like medium, no higher than medium. It's ridiculous. Like in a game like this, you got to make sure your fucking frame rate actually works. Saw my sweet bell. You jealous? Can I get out of this hellscape? Yes. Wait. Oh. Okay, that was that weird fairy thing. Activate the shit out of it. And rest our hero. I forget, do you play these games, Etheric? Alright. And it's really jarring coming off of... Uh, Coming off of, um, I want to try running this uh, full screen as well. It makes it more of a pain to like alt tab, but it should run slightly better. We got a map. Another lamb bearer. Aye. So it goes. Ah, what can I do Should for you? Up one of the few to earn a vestige. I'll tend to it. As I do. For whatever it's worth. And until I'm in the ground myself. The hallowed sentinels and Rogar will both show you horror enough. But nothing like what that lamp brings into view. And remember. You look into the shadows. Might be the shadows look back. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Move the camera up a little bit. Mind yourself, Lambearer. Whether you took up that light willingly or not, you're on a treacherous path. And forever's never as long as you think. Mind yourself, you're on a treacherous path. Uh, one thing I want to do. There's a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just check your up. I want to try this. See if I can actually use this spell. My, my whip. I... Is there a setting to make it not automatically put new shit into my quick slots? I really wish it would not. see it. It keeps putting shit in my quick slot that I don't want there. But yeah, this is... Look, that's that's literally my chest armor right now. Some chains and a dom collar. And it's more, more physical resistance than anything else I had. He's no Andre. You won't fix my damn armor. You used the Pilgrim's Perch key. Oh, I was gonna... I'd use that. Buff. Oh, it does work. Oh, wow. Makes it all shiny. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, 
slow. There you go. Alright, I keep forgetting they can... Oh, look. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Uh... I think the guy's just like, yeah, whatever. I don't think I can hit him. Oh, yeah, blinded by the look at white. Blinded by the light. All right, we can level up. Oh, I ain't kink shaming. I'm just saying that's what it is. It is what it is. First, good bonk. Sorry to interrupt your service. Yes, game. I'm trying to target that guy. How'd you know? an OBS as well. It doesn't really seem to matter, but just a little bit less. Probably be useful. Great. I definitely want to go down there. Splendid. We're actually not far from level. Ladder cut. The ladder shortcut. Stop, game. Seriously, stop. Stop putting enemies around every corner. You're predictable. And you really want range in this game. Downable shortcut, and they love these guys with the spike tent. Uh... Oh. <laughs> okay, that did work how I was hoping. Neat. Fuck that guy. whole new level of throwing people off of shit. Oh, there's a ladder there. I wish he would do an open do a challenge like that. I like to see a bunch of brain-dead zoomers rolling in the barrels and finding out it doesn't work quite that way. I don't... Nope, I don't have any more of the beta seeds. I need to get another one. Uh... 
no. Oh, there's a ladder. But we're actually gonna go back real quick. So we have a decent amount of souls. How wish this came out of fucking homeward bone. Actually, I'm gonna check. There was a vendor that had something that I think works like a homeward bone because they didn't say that it actually took your souls or vigor or whatever it is. Oh, it was still moving. I don't have so many fucking jumping puzzles in your game that's got dog shit jumping. Please, why? Why would you do this? Oh, you have to do it this way. We could go down here too, actually, since we're in the spirit realm. Yeah, let's do that. You know what? I don't want you popping out of nowhere. Bonk. That satisfying slam of the hammer. Ugh. She can't quite make it. Not, not quite, I mean, she wasn't even close. Those blow up. That's what those do. They're the explosive barrels of the spirit world. Oh, for. Okay. I don't think this doesn't work in this mode. So I guess even if you're running at full blast, it's not enough to get out of it. Once it starts, you gotta spam dodge. Need to. Oh wait, what is this? Shit! 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 Mechanism seems to be stuck. Wow, I'm super shocked. No. What the fuck? I had the right guy selected again. They're like, hey, you know what, actually, let's change it on him. Pick the different one. That's what you actually wanted. Nice. Made a stone cluster. Wanted right, to beat on him to get the health back. Oh, so, okay, I didn't mention this. That's why it changed. So it's got that, this is actually a, a, like legitimately a feature, not sarcastically a feature, where if something's targeted and you move the mouse, it'll change target. It's easier to do it that way. So I want to try to suck her soul again. Catch my oh, that time it worked. My kick missed. Gotta get longer legs, woman. Bam! Get your 
weird Damn. Tim Burton naked fairy ass back to Johnny Depp I don't know swing and a miss that was the warm up Oh, that's it's gonna be shift right click. Try Wither salt. Umbral eye of Rosamund. I forget. Oh, I think that's one of the like we can slot that. We can slot that eyeball, yeah. which is always nice. Take these bits. Uh, no, I will not. Will not take them. Uh, thank you for the bits. So I can't target the explosive cysts. Ugh. Not super pleasant to think about. Here. It's the uh, Indiana Jones. Part of India Jones, where the guy comes out throwing his sword around all fancy and he just shoots him. You know, actually, that was an improv scene. Yes, everybody knows. You see, Harrison Ford had a bad case of the squirt. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. Really like you to kill these, don't they? Like a bunch. I feel like there might be a shortcut this way. So I want to go this way first, or it could be a huge waste of my time. Tune in to find out. Thank you for the hundred bits, though. Oh, all right, stop. You know what? I will go back to. Yeah, there's definitely like a little bit of a delay. Uh, antique hollowed sentinel helm. I think that was one of the starting classes gear, I think. Game. It really, def it definitely has some issues targeting sometimes. Bleed resistance balm. B fifty two balmer. Okay, that's yeah where we were. All right. So like, if you see them spawning in and then you click the target, it takes a bit. But then like that one guy. He was just like in the middle of the hallway and I clicked and nothing happened. So how did I miss those salts? Magic missile! Except they're holy. I mean to do that heal there. Right fin right click finger has been twitchy. Pride bound again, I think that is a a uh, armor thing. Alright, so we don't need to click Keep that one down. Thanks. Oh, the guy running over here. They can't use ladders, though. We'll be fine. They don't have the technology. Ooh. 
Ooh, look at you. Dodging. Got a mana. Uh, I am gonna mana up. We got a decent amount of souls, and this game is uh, pretty stingy with shortcuts. Oh, wow. They give you a bunch. That I probably will end up quick slotting. Has a hit stop effect. What do you mean? Like, when I hit them, it staggers them, you mean? Like, the hammer definitely feels like it's got, like, impact, right? Like, this didn't work before, right? I kind of clicked it. Oh, I, okay. What does that do? Oh, it's stuck. If it's stuck, why did you let me pull it? Game. There's a big old boy down there. What, another one? Jesus Christ, game. It's reminding me of Neo 2 in a bad way, where Neo 2 was like really bad about putting like fuckloads of range units everywhere. Yeah. It will not let me target him, even though he's within range. <sighs> Alright. There's nothing we can use over here. Yeah. I guess that's her. Oh. Did he just run off the edge? Did that one guy just run off the edge? How much random garbage did you put down here, boys? Nope, not. Stop. Stop with my fucking right click finger today. Like, twitch grab and shit like crazy. Hollowed Sentinel Scripture. Uh, oh, that's the shortcut. Figure time. We don't want to rush or anything. Excuse me, boys. Alright. Oh no, he didn't run off. That would have been too convenient. Yeah, I was going to try to do the soul grab. The soul grab thing is very flaky. Like, sometimes it feels like it's got really good range. Other times it doesn't. And then there's, like, some enemies that, like, it seems to be flaky on. Like the uh, butterfly thing, I tried to do it before. I was pretty fucking sure I was in range, but it didn't work. But then I tried it again, and it did work. Whoop. Bonk. Nope. That's not the direction I rolled. <laughs> He's thinking the same thing. Bye. <laughs> Man, a... Praise the hammer. He's like, if I just sit here on my knees, surely she'll she'll just let me go. Oh. Black old sun. Won't you come? Why don't you wash away this rain? That'd be nice. Interesting. Yeah, it is a good song. Oh, he did go off, but he didn't, like, fall to his death. He just dropped off of here. This is going to be risky. <laughs> yeah, 
definitely starting to see uh, some use cases for more stamina. Please stop putting random shit in here. Definitely more more stingy with the, the healing stones. But I can use the mana to heal. So joke's on you, game. I mean, not much. Ooh, ardent pentanet head cage. I mean, I don't see how it could possibly beat our current helm. Go Jesus. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is historically accurate. You might not like it, but this is what warriors of olden time look like. That's fine. We're keeping this for now. I do like the bell, though. It's got a little pizzazz to it. It's got attitude. Alright, so that just goes... Well, we actually have to. So we can't get back up yet. Because that just goes back to where the shortcut is. Okay. At least we're trying to get some shortcuts. I'm curious about that that cage there. We could probably shoot it or something, but uh, I want to be safe here. We really want to avoid losing XP, souls, etc. Early on, if you can. Oh no, I'm out. That's why. Fuck. I mean, that other guy just kind of fell off, though. Which is kind of nice. Hey, sir. Excuse me. Just running all past you, if you don't mind. Thank you. So yeah, that time it didn't do it, because I thought I had a full one. I forgot it, it like, has... It's at the top left, under my mana. That little gray ball. It'll be blue if it's so you want, in this case, blue balls. I really don't want to go... to the spirit world. I think we need to to get back, though. Hold on, let me go up here. It does look very protective. I mean, who's going to fuck with you? I'm still trying to figure out what this even, like, opens. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, so this... We can only go back so far this way, because remember we had the, the water, but we can go through a good bit and then... Swap over. I thought all of this would have been flooded. I guess just down here? Oh, I see. Oh, I don't think I can... Uh, you can't get back out. Okay, so you can't go back that way. Alright, so we'll have to go out and around. And I th think the landing area is right over there. Or the Suji Watch It's area. And I need to check the vendors and see if there is a homeward boner, because... Having to, given how windy these areas have been so far, or at least this one, this one's been super windy. A lot of the areas look very, very similar to 
it's hard to kind of keep track of where I'm at. Uh, we'll, we have to switch to go back over there anyway. So let's go to Umbral here. I want to see what's up with this thing. Nope. God damn it. Here we get to hold it. Oh, okay, I can do the soul suck on it. A warm breeze blowing softly across the sand. Deep blue sky. The songs we used to sing. Little Daljaru's hand in mine. All so far away now. All gone. Mother. Father. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've never been in one of those cages. I mean, I've wanted to be, but I've never been. But I imagine it sucks a lot. Like, at first, it's like, oh, sweet, what a cool view this is. This isn't so bad. But fairly quickly. Attitude probably changes on that. See, look how far I'm targeting this guy. And the other one was, for, like, probably about this far, maybe further, and I couldn't target him. And you really want ranged in this game. We're peasants! I know. God, I know. Another shortcut there. Alright. Thirty-five frames a second in there, Jesus. Alright. Arrest. That explains, see? I had a bell earlier, but then I found this. I like the bell visually a little bit better, but this is pretty dope, too. Girl's got some questionable posture. Um, let's do one in here. Oh, we got two levels. Wait, whoa, God, why do we have so many levels? What was giving us all that crazy XP? I wonder if it was the night guy. Now let's bring endurance to 10. I'm going to bring vitality up. We'll probably go ahead and keep doing vitality. Because uh, now we can heal like almost a full health bar already. So, might as well not waste it. Uh, Alright, so real quick, let's go back. So wait, are these two different ones? Hold on. Because I thought you couldn't do two. Or more than one. Yeah, it's very protected. Nobody wants to touch you. Alright, so there's that one. Well, they're not labeled or anything, so I'm guessing you only can get one. Yeah, okay. Well, good to know, but also, that sucks. But good to know. But that sucks. Alright, let's check. I did see, like I said, before I saw an item that said going back to the last vestige that you'd used. Oh, God. Have you seen my shark, though? Regular shark, do 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 Full grown shark, do 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 He's sitting on the laptop. I mean, on top of the desktop, which is his natural habitat, habitat obviously. In Radiance, judgment. Yeah, Radiance, blah, blah, blah. Great.
Wouldn't mind that ring. I've said a few times. Our immaculate lady will yeah, bring she's redemption. She's immaculate as balls. So, and there's nobody in there that's a vendor. Does this guy sell something or another? My offer stands as long after all. What oh, no, no, no. It's. He's over here. I'm trying to remember which vendor sells what. There's the spooky undead, undead vendor guy too, but I don't. Oh, this land is overflowing with to offer you little difficulty. Also, say nothing. They are already conflicted. Oh. Uh, let's check that scripture first before we give it to him. Or just gonna give it. Give all this stuff to him. I'm sure something bad happens if you give him all this stuff, but. Hollow Sentinel Scripture. A tome extolling the divinity, virtues, and glorious history of the cleric. Many are the lessons and tales inscribed in the pages of the numerous hallowed Sentinel texts written over the centuries from the most tolerant and benevolent earlier works to the harsher, more fanatical writings of later years. Flayed skin. This land is to offer you also. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Are already yeah, conflicted. Here, take this thing. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, all facets of this head. Oh, okay. He doesn't really sell me anything new, I don't think. Neophyte. That's what I hear like Neophyte, I think. Vampire Bloodlines. You know, we haven't played through Vampire Bloodlines in a while. Wait, was this dude? Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you, I serve. Okay, so this one lets you travel without costing. Okay. So you do use it up. Um, I'll buy a couple. Because, yeah, this is a desiccated vestige moth. The other one's just a regular moth. It's it's definitely interesting that there's more of a like need or souls vigor or whatever in this as opposed to a lot of games like this. Like normally like you could buy stuff, but mostly like the vast majority of the time you want to use them to XP. But here it seems like there's actually some decent stuff to to, to buy. Which I, I actually do like. I I feel like Homeward Bone should just be in your inventory. I don't like having to, to buy them. Wait, it's three? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I accidentally changed it to two. Alright. But it feels like there might be too much? Because, like, now we need another baby thing. So we can have another, like a. Well, actually, we don't, because that one is. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I'm trying to remember. This place is so, like, windy, and like I say, everything looks the same. I can't tell where I'm at. So we just opened a shortcut. I don't remember where that is. It might be over here. <laughs> they were just. Uh, I think it was Etheric who was just saying something about. Looking like Silent Hill. So I think it's over here. I think. No. No, it's not. Later, hater. I have frames. 
But it might be near one of the other teleport Hoosie Wetsons. What's this? Sepulcher? Oh no, this is like way at the beginning. I'm curious about something, one second. Okay. I just wanted to see if I was getting better frame right here. And see if like something weird was going on where I was getting like worse frame rate as I played. But it's, it's back to being pretty consistently 60. I've got it limited at 60, so I'd probably be getting more. But I have, for OBS purposes, I have it limited to 60. Okay. Because I, I felt like it was just getting worse and worse as I played more, but that's not the case. Which is good. I don't even remember where we... Fucking were. Yeah, we had a we have a bed bell helmet. It wasn't over here to the right. Was it? No. God damn it! I'm fucking lost. I even have teleporters. Fuck's <laughs> sake, guys, when you sit at the bonfire, we should reach the door. We figured this out years ago. Don't reinvent the wheel. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. It was this one? I don't remember. This place is, like I say, it's just everything looks the same. In this area, at least. Like it's just wood structures. And I think they tried to mix it up with the rain. Let's just go this way. I, don't know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, I think we're trying to mix it up with the rain. No, oh, because we. We were in that, like a cave, right? For fuck's sake. Also, it doesn't help that the the vestiges are like randomly placed. I think like it like their placement has nothing to do with where you found them. Sorry, I'm trying to get back to where the fuck we were. Cause yeah, the the one goo the dude was there. Oh no, that's this sanctuary. Is it this bell room? I mean, there's so many bell rooms. It's, I don't know which one is which. Oh, this, this is the other bell room. I was thinking the place we were was the bell room because there's bells everywhere. No, 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 no. This is the bell room. The other, other. Oh, wait, this is open now? Oh, no, no, we used the key for it. That's right, that's right. All right, so we went that way. For a bit. Wow, somebody behind the thing? Didn't see that coming.
Wait, why is he not taking stagger damage from it? There he goes. Ooh, in the back. Oof, Jesus. Obviously, we'll do that again. Oh, look. I'm over here. Invulnerable, annoying enemies. Everybody loves those. Off. Jesus, okay. Everything's tanky all of a sudden. We reached the everything's tanky part of the dungeon. So can you kill this to the wall? I'm sure not. Oh, you can just run through. Oh, game? The sound decided to just randomly stop. Combat slow. Alright, okay. Jesus, hello. Huh? Forever. Come on. Uh, turn the effects volume down again. That should do it. Yes, I clearly want you to apply the changes game. I don't want to target the guy through a wall. I want to target the guy literally walking in front of me. Okay. I know it's very hard to tell who I could possibly mean. This is, yeah, this is the everything all of a sudden i think we've reached the part of the game where everything's hit points just suddenly went up five times i don't think the bosses had that kind of hit points let's see if this will work this time last time i didn't that time it works it's so flaky that works or not. It missed, but I guess the end exploded. Check it. There we go. Oh, they gives him a stamina back. Eat. Good God. Is everything a bullet sponge now? Okay, that's not walking. Oh, because it switched to two hands. Oh, alright, that's a thing. Are we gonna burn this guy's gimmick? Okay, he does not stagger. Oh, that was a two-hander attack. <laughs> Bosses look took less time to come. Oh, I'm just gonna run back anyway. We gotta learn out what this guy's gimmicks are. So he's super. 
uh, he's super spongy. And he can instantly get his stamina back. So you just gotta have to whittle him down over time. And the other thing. The soul thing seems mostly worthless on him. No, not yet. Wait, that shoots the shield out? Okay. Like that actually hurts you to do. Uh, Alright, let's go in here. Very, very slowly pick your shit up. Games mimics. Let's go so we can't get through here. So why did that heal nothing whatsoever? Run. Oh, click the run button. So I'm going under the umbral. Why is my shit not full? Jesus. If we ever get an AoE ability, we'll definitely want to use it. This game is definitely about spamming you with shit loads of ads. Yeah, this game's very, very, like, multiples heavy. I don't know, maybe we're not supposed to go this way yet. Everything's super spongy all of a sudden. I might go back the other way. It doesn't seem like it's worth the time right now to go this way. Just go through. Thanks. No, pick, there you go. Pick it up. I mean, sometime today. Take your time. We'll come back here later. Okay, we can go out this way. We'll come back here later. Yeah, suddenly everything's like super, super spongy. Yeah, you've got to be able to get some kind of spell or something that is good versus like mobs because you're constantly fighting like big groups in this game especially in the umbral there's like a ton of shitlings all over the place So that was the shortcut that we unlocked. Got it on. Wall behind boxes. Sup, BB? What's up? Eight million mobs up here, so we'll probably just 
run by them if at all possible. Cause actually this should, didn't this just loop around? Later, hater. Oh shit. Oh hey! You're right here. Oh, what the he's still Naruto running over there. Alright. Works. Oh, what? Uh, my right finger has been twitching bad today. I don't know what's up with that. Wait. Right up on me? Oh, we can get over there. He's stuck, which is fine by me. More of this shit. I keep vaporizing. No game. Nope. There you go. starting to get really irritated with this game, not gonna lie. Getting really irritated with it. Patience is expiring. Very quickly. It's been way more, it's starting to be more tedious than enjoyable. I want to get out of this area. This area is trash. Everything looks the same. There's nothing but like uh, instant death drops every fucking where. I don't know why my. Oh, he's out there, right? Harvest Island demo. Shit, at this rate, maybe we will. No, thank you. Why are you rolling so fucking far when I'm locked in?
We're all locked in back. Please, game. Have more jumping puzzles in your Souls like. That's. I'm always thinking, like, you know what is missing from Souls games? Jumping. Jumping puzzles. That's always fun. I like to try to jump with your dog shit jump controls and uh, dog shit physics. Make sure to do it a bunch, too, like, all the time. It's not really a puzzle, it's just platforming. That's what I should say. Day. Jesus, like the slowest soul grab of all time. Are souls up there again? Fuck it, I don't even care. Or did I pick them up? Oh, I did. Oh my god. No, I'm going to keep giving us a chance. I, I want to get out of this area. This area is fucking awful. It's just so fucking tedious to get through. Yes, game. I wanted to target randomly the guy behind me. How did you know? How did you know? Of course wanted to target the guy not even on the screen. And of course she's... Okay. Guess that was a grab move. I like how she keeps hovering by the fucking edge, too, so you can't really get it or save it. She definitely needs more hip points, though. Oh, Die, you dumb bitch. Jesus, fuck. Guessing whatever this is is probably mostly useless. Relic of perpetuation. Wait, what? That one. Why did that one take a ton of hits? That was weird. Wait, why are they taking so much damage all of a sudden? Why are their hit points suddenly skyrocketed? No, no AOE spells. You absolutely are going to need them if, if this keeps up. Because, like, everything is about, like... Especially in the Umbral, it's just non-stop these little uh, shitlings. So what is the purpose of all this? There's a... Um... There's that switch there, but... It doesn't do anything. I keep saying it's stuck. I guess we could go down. I don't think we went down yet. Come on. There. 
Have fun. Oh, he didn't do it. Neat. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, this is a new area. So, why can we not upgrade our weapon yet? Have I missed the upgrade vendor? Because, again, our, our weapon damage is definitely not scaling. I feel like we missed the upgrade guy. We're fighting a lot of trash down here, it looks like. And you get a timer. Let me just run through. See, we have a time limit. Because, yeah, like the hunter things start coming to get you because you stayed in the umbral too long. Like, I don't, I don't want to be here, game. to the normal world. Where are we? Okay, I think... Maybe I know where we are. Fuck, I don't know. I guess it all looks the same. System is really good at looking at who you're trying to target and picking something else in time. No, I definitely don't want that quick slots. I forgot you were playing Dragon Age Origin, Origins. Get some mana back. Try the lift you can't use in the bell room. Which bell room? Oh, uh, yes. It says it doesn't work. And I found there's another one over here that also doesn't work. Hey, look, wow, a guy behind a wall. Who saw that coming? Oh, look, another guy behind a wall. Target this guy. Holy shit. No. Oh, cool. Instant. Oh, really?
This is the first game I feel like I just want to run through everything. To figure out where the fuck we're supposed to go. I don't even care about whatever that item is. Fucking clue what that did. The uh, Dragon Age uh, Two was dog shit. Oh, well, I mean, I can't even get that to work yet. I have, I still have no clue what that did. Like, the little spirit thing shot up here, did it reset? So that one, once that one's gone, it's gone. It doesn't reset like the others. So that's actually good. It means we're not, like, timed or whatever. Oh my god. Game. Jesus Christ. Target the guy literally standing in front of me. I, again. It's like, oh, well, there's a small Xeno egg in front of him. Sorry. He can't let you target him. Heal. No. Let's go, just go right on through that. It's fine. Solid, solid object, who cares? <sighs> I'm trying to slowly get through all this trash. Where'd he go? Oh, okay, he disappeared. Maybe he fell off the edge. I've heard, yeah, I've heard Inquisition's really good. Yeah. 
Trash. Not that it matters because it comes back. Even though, oh, that's right. The longer you're here, the more bullet spongy they get. Can I just do something with this? I can't target it. I really don't understand what the point of this is. Oh. Oh, it's one of those you have to find, like, the thing connecting it. This is in the caravan below. Upgrade. God damn. I mean, it's so weird because like now everything is like, it's like they skipped an area. Like everything is suddenly giving like tons of XP and shit. It's like, but everything's also like really spongy. So it's like they forgot an area, like an in-between. Nope, target him. So I go down here. Because I can go through there if I go into the the mistral world. But I, I thought we did all that. This I guess this place is so fucking confusing. Because it all looks the same. Like they tried to make it different. Like this place, like it rains. The other place, it's sunny. But it's like everything looks the same. I guess we can... Yeah, because I think I went this way and I ended up coming back before I finished it all. Oh, let me hit some enemies because we can go into the umbral. Get that stupid hit point. Oh, that was some crap. We could do one of the little umbral babies there, but I don't really see the point. Oh no, this is. Oh no, we're in the umbral. Hit the dead end. I guess this was just for the chest. Oh no, here we go. There's some stairs. Came up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We're coming up here. Yeah, here's that lever that doesn't do anything. I mean, I did pull something down below. I don't know if that helped. Nope. Those enemies despawn, which is fine by me. So we have to go back where we were, but we've got to figure out where the stupid, um... Oh, you know what? Let me... Okay. This. Where the things controlling the door are. We're blocking the door. I know.
don't want that door to go like that. Um, I don't remember. I think, oh yeah, yeah, we had to go like really far down. Yeah, putting the baby thing in here is pretty worthless, I think. A ladder over here, right? Hi, dickheads. I'll take them souls. Or maybe it was... Oh, there's the ladder. That's what I was thinking of. I made sure to put this hot nugget right next to it. Yeah, you could do another thing here, I think. Yeah, you could. Uh, might just buy one so we don't have to keep doing this run, because this is... I mean, it's not a horrible run. But it's not great. Uh... What? Yes, I, I wanted to bite off the ladder. What? Oh, that's right, it's... <laughs> Part of the ladder only exists in the Armble, I think. Yeah. Sure, that works. Alright, let's figure out where this thing's eye what's its are. there a ladder up or down somewhere oh there it is did want that to spawn there. Is it get some else back hit point back? <laughs> My god game. As soon as this motherfucker start to materialize the targeting should work. Speaking of targeting not working. Because you see them start to materialize, you you click the target, and the game's like, who? Alright. So there's the eye wall thing, I think. I don't see any of those tendrils, though. Maybe it was further down? Let me clear this so I can get a better angle. We killed the 20 mobs over here. Jesus, wow. Fucking tossed it. Have you ever see the camera just randomly like jerk real fast while I'm in the middle of a fight? It's because I'm targeting, trying to target something, and the game doesn't know who I'm trying to target. So it, like, recenters the camera. Uh, no, right? No. I think it's further down this way. Ooh, I'm trying to be patient, but this game's definitely pushing it. Uh, we'll take a little bit of damage, but... Bonk. 
bitch. Wow, it actually let me do that from there. Holy shit, that's actually nice. Good to know. I will abuse that in the future. That was that had to have been max range. That had to have been max range. Get almost three shot those now. All right, there's the eyeball. Actually, I need to go back so I can leave the umbral, reset the the fill thing. Well, actually, oh, I'll have to do it there. Let's see if I can. Hold on, let's see if I can cheese this guy. Not like I wanted to, but it works. I was trying to push him back. Throw him off the cliff again. Uh, where was that? Fuck. Oh, there it is. Okay. I should have done it when I saw it. But I was like, hey, what's the point? I forgot about the whole, like, resetting the build up or whatever it is. So I can, I can clear a bunch of shit. Thank you, BB, for five gifted subs. Far too nice, as always. No, I don't. I don't smile. But thank you, BB. Uh, oof, bitch. Not you, BB. These things. Stamina. Out of a tunnel. I know he's possibly going to attack, but. But I thought the other guy's body would get in the way. No. This thing you want me to suck on, game. This looks like this looks like some Resident Evil shit right here. A very kind BB. Who got it? Well, let me look at that in a second. I, I want to get this shit done. A sap, if not sooner. Hurry up before those assholes start shooting. I think that's all of them. I don't feel like this right now. That's fucked up. Bunch of naked dudes stuck on your walls. I mean, there's definitely. Worst things. BB, you know I oh, I need a little fetus seed thing. Stop praying. I think I hear the blacksmith.
He still almost got that one first. Let's try that again. What? Does this fix it? Hey, maybe. No, get in my fucking game, please. Targeting the simplest thing in the world. At least target something. I can kind of get if it targets the wrong thing, but target something for God's sakes. Uh, there's another lever. I want to check that before we go. There was a patch for this game. When? Let's see if I have it. I don't see one. Yeah, I was kind of hoping this was a shortcut. I want to see where this goes real quick. Because it probably is. Hellraiser themed sex toy. First of all, we don't judge fetishes here unless it's choking. Then we judge harshly. Uh, I don't know where the fuck this is. We'll check the other elevator. You opened the box. She came, giggity. Our character, character is a cleric, by the way. Well, a preacher, I guess, technically. Just observed it. Look familiar to you? I got one of those in the closet right now. This outfit does really go well with her like body marking slash tattoos. Please tell me. Oh, thank fuck. All right, let's rest and we'll upgrade. Ooh, I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm. I'm. Pushed to my limits of patience, but we're we're trying. I'm already more annoyed with this game than I ever was. That lies to me. Hmm. Gonna do radiance because now we can one shot some of those mobs that we were, or not one shot. We can uh, kill them like two or three shots as opposed to four. And I think that gives us more mana too. Or does it? Wait, hold on. Do we see mana anywhere? Where is it? Mana. There it is, yeah. So do we... Okay, so yes. Mana is definitely radius. I thought maybe you get more mana just from leveling up, but no. Uh, it does also give you more mana. We actually almost have enough to level again, but I want to save that. You should have seen my other helmet. Hold on. Check that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back, Clancy. I mean, I hear him, clearly. For the love of God, I'm trying to target the only enemy that I can see. Literally the only enemy. Crazy pull. Fucking that's instant. Oh, fuck, I didn't have the goddamn. That was too handy. My fucking spine. 
That was that was a pretty solid spine hit there. Good lord. Alright, we got his key. Obviously we're gonna leave him in there. We're not gonna use the blacksmith for the entire game. This is a no blacksmith run. <laughs> of course the dogs still take four. Son of a Alright, fine. I guess I'll let him out. Hey, Dickweed. Seventy-eight. Good year. Damn it, it still takes four. Damn sentinels and say damn bells. My bastards. They do fucking love bells. To Galinda's skills. Waste of her time. Lab chimp. Damn sentinels. I will fucking ban you forever. So, you're not another of these fools. Good. That key. <laughs> You're not one of those fools while I'm wearing a giant bell on my head. No one gets the better of Gerlinda for long. Finally. Uh, Tally, you should ban him for that. Of ha! You made a slave of me. You don't count. Doing an old growlock a kindness. Aren't you a credit to your species? <laughs> Chuckles darkly. Doing an old growlock a kindness. Aren't you a credit to your species? You know, take candle. <laughs> um. Doing an. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm guessing maybe she'll show up somewhere else. Ooh, Pilgrim's Birch Key. Boy, he's got a parasite. Fantastic. My favorite thing. Uh, wait, hold on, let me remember. Uh, nope, not that one. That's fine. I guess. Uh. No. No. Who? Attack who now? There's nobody here. Again, game is huge on having you fight numbers. So that's definitely been a very common theme, having to fight loads of shit at once. Came back at Skyrest? Okay. How did she move all of her shit over there? I guess that slave demon thing. We'll go back and get her shit, I guess. I was being careful. It's not like she's going to drop the anvil. I mean, or break the anvil if she drops it. To lie or die? Oh, God, that really is dumb. I feel like that's one of those translation things. Like, in Japanese, it probably sounds really cool, but yeah. In English, it's pretty dumb.
did a super block. I mean, oh. Oh, the control. Small Duralium fragments. And I really do love bells. Holy shit. It's like a waste of her talents, I guess was her argument. Alright. Let's go back up. Yeah, it's like a reboot. It's basically a whole new game. Like, I don't... I still don't understand why they felt the need to do a reboot. Or even not just make a new IP. But, yes, they had one. And it's like... But it's not even a reboot. It's like a thousand years after the events of the first game. So, the first game still happened, I guess. And I'm sure there'll be, like, some obscure references to it. But yeah, for the most part. Uh, gonna need some souls. You might want to move, bro. Soul. We'll kill these guys too, real quick. We just gotta get in the way of the hammer. Damn it, damn it. Almost three shot those. Almost. Tell me why. You're trying to do the Pete Townsend slide because you got to get some momentum first. You can't just like go to your knees. It doesn't doesn't work that way. You got the end part of the slide fine, but with no momentum, it's not really a thing. Felix, what what the hell item were you talking about in that boss's room? I looked all over and I couldn't see anything. The Happy Gilmore golf swing? That would be awesome if you could uh, knock him into the fucking sky. All right. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Ah, you again. Gerlinda found herself a place to do a little business. She hasn't seen any other Growok since arriving in this shithole kingdom. It is a shithole. Growok or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. The right side of the boss. Yeah, I, yeah, I found that like immediately after we fought the boss. I thought you saw me get that. Of business, Gelinde has something you might be able to help with. She's looking for some items this vining bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Gelinde is undeserving of what she seeks, traveler. And self-centered besides. You would do well not to aid her in. You know full well the agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! 
Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge, which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal, and now Gerlinda wants those crystal tablets to help in her runesmithing. So, if you find any in your travels, bring them to Gerlinda, and she'll do right by you. As I would not to Galinda, I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, traveler. Don't worry, it's on Google. Even upon pain of death. <sighs> As I would not, I will not. You're not talking to you, Sparky. Ah, you again. You know, you really should sell me this stuff. For like a discount. Since I did kind of save your ass, right? Alright. So general stuff. Hey, we can get the bucket. Or we can upgrade the bucket. We can upgrade the catalyst. What does it take? Oh, two of them. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Uh, I don't have hit points. Or hit points. The other thing. Let me look through our weapons and make sure we haven't got any upgrades yet. I don't think so, but... Faithful bludgeon. Jesus. That thing's... Our 28 strength. Yeah, we're not going to be using that. Can I wield it at least? Faithful bludgeon, it's a rock on a stick. You, like, tied in some feathers to make it seem like it was, like, special. The fuck... No, no, it's a very important holy relic. Like, okay, dude. Okay, never use that. What does the bucket even look like? Oh, shit! Dual wielding broken buckets. You didn't tell me that. Oh shit, we could fuck some shit up with these. Yeah. Alright, upgrade the son of a bitch. Oh, right. Do we even have any of the... Oh. oh, we have to go grind for stuff. Uh, let's, we've got to get upgrades. The enemy's hit points have, like, jumped through the fucking roof. Let's go kill some shit over here, I guess. Boss weapon item. A lantern you're at. Which, which lantern was that? I think, I'm pretty sure I got it, though. The one that's right next to the thing. Nope. God damn. I knew he was going to second attack, but I was like, him like behind him. I, was like, I don't think he'll be able to correct. That fully charged attack fucking hurts. 
That's definitely something I think they did better than Dark Souls. Dark Souls, like, Charis Attacks always felt like shit to me. It's like you spend all this stamina to do, like, a little bit more damage. She used the fuck out of you? Polar Revelations. I've gotten like so many items. I've honestly been looking at them. I need to. I need to do a an inventory check and look at all the shit we've gotten. Wait. Here and kill these guys on the right. I mean, they're gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. He's in a fucking hurry. Where are you going, bro? Get the fuck out of the way. Jesus Christ. Hey, Dick. How's it going? Why did you randomly untarget him? Wow, that damages you? Okay. Jesus. Full heavy attack. Didn't even phase him. It's so dumb that that damages you. I mean, this is the same exact enemy we fought below, but he's got like three times as much hit points. But it's the same enemy. I forgot it does that stupid shit, honestly. Oh, he gets two shots even though it's a boss don't eat. What, why am I doing shit damage to this guy? Guess he didn't. Guess he got bored of dodging. Oh, let's go rest. We gotta kill this guy now. Who'd have killed the other ones? This game's very stingy with the uh, soul pouches, which is what makes this necessary. With a huge lack of uh, shortcuts, too, doesn't help. Yeah, these guys like are the same enemies we fought, but just with a lot more hit points. Harry shit.
It doesn't even give that many souls. It's definitely not worth the hassle. Uh, let me heal. We'll kill this guy. Hopefully we'll have enough to get all the upgrades. I'm on to again. I think I've seen it in three. Oh, we got his loincloth. Hold on. Now we're looking like a high-level cleric. Surely that's not better than the one we're wearing, right? Surely. No, not even close. Oh, we got this thing. Increase maximum health. Yes, please. All right. Now let's go back and upgrade our weapon. Sexy as hell. Because you know he ain't ever washed that loincloth. So that's got... Oh, I'm trying to see. It's got plenty... Plenty of uh, groin sweat. And charm, yes, exactly. All right. We got it two levels upgraded. Got a thousand? Speaking of sexy, all up. Right. Also, apparently, <coughs> I didn't notice this before, but you have like 3D photo that you can save. I don't quite know how that works. New 3D photo saved. When we take a break, I might take a look at it. I'm curious how that works. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we can sell stuff, too. I keep forgetting. Sell a bunch of this garbage we're not using. Thank you. I completely spaced on that. Uh, we're keeping the buckets, thanks. Those are my buckets now. Uh, we're keeping the stick. I have emotional connections to the stick. A guy was his last possession. His one last, his one last friend, and he gave it to us. Good thing these sell for diddly fuck all. Ooh, I want to try this. Oh, it's eleven agility. Fuck. No holy on it. I kind of want to keep it though. Of those. Wow, that one requires radiance. Interesting. I'll hold on to that one.
Oh, I feel like I should keep some of this stuff. Just for, like, the resists. The condemned we won't keep. We've got buckets and a stick. That's all we need. That's all Rambo needed. I don't see why we would need any more. All right, that's good enough. Dodging at the right time applies wither to the attacking enemy. That's interesting. While in Umbral, 50% withered health regain upon striking enemy. Uh, plus one sulfate charge, plus 50% dread resistance. 25% healing efficiency. Huh. I mean, we usually block... So I don't think that'll be as good, but interesting sounding effect. This is a lot easier than selling. A lot more boring, but... Alright. Uh, I definitely want to get the hammer upgraded first. I don't think we can do any more. Okay, insufficient materials. Uh, we are... I'm... I'm blind. I'm not seeing what we need to upgrade. Oh, there it is. It's one of those. Whatever that one is. Alright, well, hopefully we're doing some almost decent damage now. Maybe. We got, what, two upgrades on it? No, three. Uh... I guess we go back down to that shithole room. Now let's test this out. Stop punching yourself. Stop punching yourself. He can do multiples. Wow, it's delayed as hell. Excuse me, sir. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't feel that much better. 105 to 143. Yeah, okay. And those guys, I mean, everything is starting to be beefy as hell, but those guys are pretty beefy. I've also got that holy buff I can use. It doesn't... I mean, against these guys down here, it's probably not going to be very useful. I know, game, I know. I still can't four shot the dogs. What the fuck? I mean, uh, three shot. So even with two upgrades, the damage is exactly the same? As it was 81 before. Is that a bug? They're doing the exact same damage? Heads. <laughs> it kept me after relax.
I mean, I know I can probably pull this thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, but let's do this bullshit again. Parasite. Oh boy. Multiple parasites. Neat. Oh, it can power multiples. Cool. Heck, an annoying mechanic. How can we possibly make it more annoying? Okay. Alright, so apparently you're not supposed to do it this way, I guess. Since there's 8,000 enemies out there. Alright, so I guess we go somewhere else. Because there's obviously some gimmick there. There's, um... That door we can open. Yeah, I mean, we could fight him, but fighting him plus, like, five other enemies is kind of a pain in the dick. But again, that's definitely been a common theme in this game. They want you to fight uh, ads, like, a lot. They really love ads in this game. Better just run by. It's becoming a common theme with this game. Just run by it. Okay, I was passing God. What? what why is, am I fucking bouncing off dogs? souls. I guess he has them. I mean, I guess we just lose them. Better than Liza P? Definitely not. So far, I actually like the original game better. So far, I actually like the original better. This game just has a ton of really agitating mechanics. And just a lot of it's just design. Like design decisions where it's like they, again, they clearly want you to fight a fuckload of enemies like at once all the time. Increase resist all status effects, sure. The area design, at least for the area we're in, is really, really bad. Like, everything looks the same, so it's super easy to get lost. It's basically because everything just winds around.
Interesting, interesting. Like it's just a slog clearing an area a lot of times. So just a uh, crazy number of enemies. And then God forbid you gotta do it again. So that seems to be just a dead end. But yeah, so far this has been one of my least favorite Souls likes. And I'm hoping maybe it's just this area was really badly designed. And the enemies are just super inconsistent. Like you'll be in an area and like the same exact models will have drastically different hit points. Like there's like a knight over here who's got literally three to four times as much hit points as the same exact knight over there. There's just no consistency whatsoever. God, those upgrades just feel like worthless. Like this guy. We just fought this guy. Not that tough. Didn't take like a ton to kill. But now he's got way more hit points. fucking wall though and then there's that room I don't want to waste my time with that nope. oh. uh, yeah I guess we'll go in uh, I will put the holy stuff on because I think that'll probably do more damage to these guys Health back? Oh, I can get health back. I can't hurt those guys, but I can at least get the health back. Yeah, they're doing like no extra damage to this thing. Isn't this challenging? I guess we want to kill the eight. Well, the problem is killing the ass is really help because she just spawns more. I swear I made this dark size too. Yeah. And the thing is too, like, even if, like, when you're in the umbral. Enemies don't ever stop spawning. And the longer you're in the Umbral, the tougher they are to kill. So you need to rush to get through, but you're also constantly getting hit by new spawns of the, the weaker enemies. Oh wait, wrong place, wrong place. They fall into a lot of the same problems that every Souls-like does, where they like put enemies behind walls to try to catch you off guard, but they do it constantly so you always know, like, oh, there's an enemy behind this wall. Like, you don't even need to see it. Like, you know, oh, there's going to be an enemy there. Like, 100% of the time. Oh, 
I'll say the parrying is much better in this than Lords of uh, Liza P, though. Much better. Partially because I feel like the timing is is more not douchebaggy. It's not as like super strict. I'll go ahead and do the radiance buff, but it the radiance buff literally seems to do nothing nothing at all. I need to test it and see if it actually does. Nope. All right, let's try to killing the 8,000 ants first. Well, Long's Perry felt pretty good too, yeah. The, the no, I mean, I mean, there's two main issues with Liza P's Perry, which made it bad. Uh, one was the attack animations of the enemies were just random as fuck. Like, they made no logical sense. Uh, they did the pullback, you know, pullback weight attack thing. It's just, it's fuck that area. I don't know how to kill that thing. There's 8 million fucking ads and upgrading our weapons didn't do fuck. Our weapon damage is just as bad as it was. Everything still takes the exact same number of hits. Nope. Literally the guy right now. Nope. But yeah, the parry is definitely way better in this than Liza P. Liza P probably has the worst parry system. Because of the incredibly small window and the inconsistent or the illogical uh, timings of the attacks. The timing in that game is all about um, okay. is all about just memorizing the patterns and that's it. That's all parrying is in that game. There's some stuff you can react to but most of it you can't. I mean, I don't know if we're supposed to go this way. Maybe we're supposed to go somewhere else. Um, the down the elevator. I think the only thing there was the blacksmith, and there are like a few crappy items. I didn't really see anything we could do. Uh, I don't remember anywhere else we can go. Let's try this again. Yeah, like, see, again, these enemies we fought before, exact same models, but these guys have, like, crazy hit points. Why? Who knows? Well, it's because we're in a different area. It's harder now. That's why. That's literally the only reason. We need this area to be difficult, guys. All right. Put in 8,000 enemies and make most of them archers. Everything just so... All right, let's, let's go somewhere else. I don't know if we're is it, this is the sign we're supposed to go somewhere else. That everything is now taking eight thousand fucking hits to kill. Everything is super fucking spongy. Everything's doing insane damage. Again, even though it's the exact same models of stuff we fought before. But yeah, so far I am 
really unimpressed with this game. On top of that, you've got the uh, the technical problems, which again feels doubly bad coming off of uh, Liza P, where it actually ran incredibly good. See, again, that same exact enemy we just fought that took seven hits, this guy takes two. Same exact model. Uh, do you want to go that way? Again, I don't remember. I think that way was the really, 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 really long way to get to the basement. Two upgrades still takes three shots. Or wait, was this the way to open the blacksmith? I think this might have... I think it is. Oh, try you had the part of the ladder doesn't work if you're not in the umbrella. Oh, no, See if there is. The other, we're definitely not gonna fight this shit. But. Same thing over there. So I item right there, but I don't really care. I'm sure, it's not useful. I still think Wolong was nowhere near as good as Neo, though. Like, not even remotely the same ballpark. Oh, those guys are too shot. Oops. Oh, my fucking... Right finger keeps twitching today. I wasn't trying to do that, I was trying to pick the item up, but alright. <laughs> oh, we can keep this over. That's probably just a shortcut. Where is this? It looks familiar. Oh, 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 I see, I see. That's where we have to go into the umbrella to go down the stairs. All right, well, that's nice. Game, can you really not see the fucking enemy standing right there? I'm trying to target him. All right, forget it, forget it, forget it. Holy shit. He took almost no damage from that.
I think I got three shot. Or t yeah, three shot. Alright, there's two dickheads here that. Oh my god. I jumped out of the boxes. Aren't you shocked? Yeah, alright. Gonna make it. I do like that big swing with the hammer. The hammer is definitely satisfying to use. These guys are very resistant to radiant, which I guess kind of makes sense because the whole pentient, pen, pentient, pentient thing. What are you doing? Wow, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> like he keeps extending that. Like, at first it was only two hits, and then three, and then I was like, five. Damn. Yeah. He's like, I guess. Oh, we we went in there, right? Did we? I don't know if he's there, technically no. So I know there's all that bullshit. Uh, let me double check. Because some of those grow back, some of them don't. Yeah, this is the... W oh, yeah, yeah, okay, this... Yeah, this is the way to... The Smith. Yeah, 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 okay. Because that was the door we had to open, okay. All right. Well, let me check around and see if there's any reason to stay here or, you know, continue exploring this area. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be heading that way, but, I mean, I've hard to tell. those guys who throw the, like, ghost spooge. Alright, yeah, so all of this... Oh, god damn, get one shot. So that actually did... Do that. Not supposed to go that way. All right, so all of this was just to, as far as I can tell, just to get to the basement. Or, uh, Cadet Blacksmith. <laughs> Jaxie. Nice. Well, let me, just, let me just take in one more quick look around and see if I see anything. Not really sure where to go. I mean, there's... The only place left is the area where 
the enemies are suddenly like way tougher than they are here for no reason. an item there, but I don't give a shit about that. Don't see any, like, ladders or anything to go down. Glad we found the shortcut. I'm usually on the lookout for these logs that you can kick over. But I missed that one. Head back. Yeah. My finger just randomly right clicks today. Surprise, yeah, I know. And there's some kind of shortcut there, but. Let me rest and go do a quick bathroom break. And I'll see where we're supposed to see if we can't figure out where to go. We can upgrade, that's nice. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I grabbed it. I put it in my Bucky's cup because it was super, super sweet. So there's here and to the right. Let's double check that. I, I, like I said, sorry we're going back over some of these places, but I, I straight up can't fucking, I don't know where to go. This was the dead end. There's got to be a ladder or something here, right? There's no way. Because there's even a place to put... Um, see, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, the stairs. That's right. This brings us here. Sub 40. I'm assuming I still can't use this. I'm guessing the elevator is from up top. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I think this area, like, we had that place, which is a dead end. We might can go down, but that... Does that take us to the same spot we were at before? The area where there's 8,000 dudes. This is, okay, but this, yeah, this is where we just were, okay. This is just another way to get to the same spot, I guess? Because down there, read out some of the 10 billion, well, we're gonna just check, see if it's, this takes us back to, yeah, it does, okay. That's just a roundabout way of going to the same place we already were. Actually, kill these guys. Might want to go back and buy some stuff. 
I how you dodge into him there. Recoil a little bit. There's no, they didn't put a lot of right now, they did all the way around. Yeah, that's why I got him in the Bucky's Cup. No game. Forget it, forget it. Just forget it. Oh no, we had to do the stairs. I don't quite get the point of putting a baby the respawn thing there. But yeah, no, I put it in the Bucky's cup so I could put ice, put it, put it in it, ice in it, and let it melt, let it water it down a little bit, because it was definitely very sweet. All oh, right, we have to. Uh, We had to go into Mumble World. So, I, I mean, the only place I know then, I guess we have to go into that area where... Well, no, because that was... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's over to this side. Okay. Keep upgrading it. Hopefully, at some point, I to get a little bit more damage in. I'm actually going to try to kill that annoying fairy thing on the side. I'm going to try to pull like the eight bajillion ads to the side. We got to deal with this shit first. swap out radiant weapon because it doesn't seem to do fuck all get R of tenacity instead but I do appreciate the iced tea I've had some good sweet tea in a while doing right are you attacking him I don't think they can come through the wall I don't know they're coming through like even these are taking well I mean I guess they are one handed Why, why are these taking five hits when they were taking less than two? I 
think she's trying to go around to get through. I think that's what's happening. Because you can go like around. They must not be able to uh, get out of that. I at least get rid of all the egg ones. I mean, I know she can summon more. You want to get down from there? Or? I don't think I can get that item while she's alive. I think they're somehow connected. Because it pulled me into the other world. Maybe not. Fuck the environment. You get hit by that, you're kind of fucked. I knew that was the crap. Even they like critical attacks or whatever they do, I'm doing fuck all. Still there. Okay. I guess there's... It's tied to some other bullshit. Uh, let's go clear it yet again. I can't attack you because I'll take damage. It's that stupid bullshit. I can't get in Is that when the butterfly thing dead now? Because he's not uh, tied to the thing anymore. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go into the umbral, I guess. Well, at least the stupid butterflies dead. Now, why that one stayed dead, but the other ones don't, I don't know, but I'm not going to question it. I'm just glad they're fucking dead. Actually, two hand. That would be smart. Just to block against these eyes. I just feel like I'm missing something. Like, as soon as we walk through that archway, all the same enemies suddenly take a lot longer to kill. I don't know what I'm missing. Alright, so... The bug, like, came from over here somewhere. And it just instant kills you. So, I have no idea. I guess you just don't get that item. 
Unless he's like... Like, I'm looking to see if like, there's a trail or something to it. But I, I don't know. I see nothing. Okay. Right, well, I guess we'll go rest and we'll just skip that because I don't know what you're supposed to do with their their version of mimics. Now, we will have to kill our way through though because. We don't want those bigger ads coming behind us. But, I mean, at least this stuff's giving us a lot more XP. So that's nice. Go ahead and get Vitality to 20. So I was trying to think, which typically I try to avoid, but... Yeah, yes, game. Randomly untarget him and start shooting the stalactite. 100% what I want. I try to get behind them because when you do the heavy attack from behind, it does more um, feel. Stagger damage. Oops. I don't know why I tapped it there. Like that. Okay. And then sometimes you get fucked out of your heavy attack. Yeah, if they're like near a wall, I've noticed it'll do that. Because that's happened a few times. I wonder if this is another enemy it's better just to dodge. Oh, Jesus. Definitely can't use any heals. The mayors are hella burnt. I still want to make and somehow make her voice i mean not somehow i know how to do it um make it like one of the alerts she would love that also if it wasn't obvious that blue means that you did the the parry timing I don't think you can parry that. Cool. That's why I'm just tired of sitting there attacking, waiting for him to attack. It's like, well, maybe if I attack, nope. You take damage. Alright. This room's gonna be annoying as shit. Come on. Takes an entire mana bar to kill one of these guys. Alright, there are just a thousand archers everywhere here. Because of course there are. Oh, uh, I think we can go up top. I'll make that a little bit easier. I'm going to use one of my mana stones so I can heal up. Because I'd like to never ever do this ever again. Oh. 
I, every time I see that shiny, I'm like, oh shit, why have I not picked that up? Yeah, the heal on that's not very good, but... And it takes a lot of mana, but... Still. Problem is, it's actually gonna knock him off, I think, yeah. Alright, we know there's a million more. Let's see if I can't snipe this little twat. Even parry arrows. I know you can't spare any spells. I've tried that. One thing that's definitely way better on this than like the Souls games is your spell range. Spell range is way better in this than in Elden Ring and shit. Should take damage. Yes, I am using those stones on purpose. I am taking this out on purpose. And all those guys, I'm assuming the floor is going to fall somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this guy out. So we can fight him. Because I'm sure we're going to go in there and then... Oh, there's a ladder there. Oh, they can't, okay, they can't get out. Okay. And I'm sure that's poisoned. Uh, but we want to we will want to kill these guys. I don't know which one of these breaks though. We can drop attack both of these nerds though. Question is, can we get back up there? Oh, he's got a pair of Of course they do. It wasn't showing that, but apparently they had one. That would have been neat to know. Now, Ooh, suck them eye frames. Piece of shit. One other nice thing is uh, Good God, look at that shit. Look at that garbage. Fucking stupid as fuck. Makes you feel like Dark Souls 2 wasn't trying hard enough. Oh shit, oh, what if I, no. Is it bugged out? Yeah. It bugged out with us stuck up there. Well, we, now we know the parasite's down there. It wasn't showing before until we attacked. I did get a gift stub. Sup, beast? Did I? Where? Oh, beast got one. I thought you meant I did. We both did. What's up, Beast? How's it going? I guess I could go through the wall and not waste our time with this guy. Every time I see that, I'm like, ooh. Let's slowly kill this shit again. Okay. Fuck. Anyway, we're not gonna. I mean, we're gonna obviously skip as much shit as we can, game devs, when you make us do it over and over again. 
the first thing the players are going to think is like, okay, well, how can I skip this? Because it's boring now. Might be in the pit. I think he is. Oh, no, that's just a regular guy. But. Theoretically, I could skip all that. I keep hearing what sounds like a draw, uh, draw stream drawing back. Yeah, the parasite doesn't show up at all until you attack, which is pretty cheap. So if I attack him now, will it show up suddenly? No. Alright, we'll it. We'll just try to skip this shit if we can then. No, run. Thought about. Where's that guy that watch? He's gotta be down in there. I mean, enemy over here, of course. Hey, look, what do you know? There's an enemy over there. Knock you in. Didn't see that coming. My fucking back. What? I can't turn that? That thing that clearly would put this down? Oh, wait. Why is that lit? There's a, a moss there. Oh no, that's on me. Okay, okay. It's coming from the lantern itself. Got it. Go this way. Hey, look, he's got a parasite. Wow. Who saw that coming? Uh, it sounds like somebody's doing some stuff somewhere. Enemy out of the boxes. Holy shit. First time. First time to see that. He's down there, super mad. It's Dark Souls. Um, it's a Souls like. So far, uh, not a great one. But they look more ancient than these behind the wall. And I'm super caught off guard by this. some mana back so we can pick those guys off. I was like, why am I glowing so much? I forgot that's what the mana stone will do. Oh yeah, you can use, uh, I know, I think you were saying 
beast that you were uh, had not used Twitch much or at all before. But you have emotes now. I forgot to hit control first. Even the, like, the fodder guys now take two hits. Like, the guys who don't even fight back, who just fall to their knees and say, please kill me. Even those guys take two hits now. There's another one, because they're pretty generous with the mana stones so far. I guess since there's no, like, mana mechanic or whatever. Or, uh, like, mana thingy, you know what I mean. There's another place for, you could put the baby thing. The respawn. I can call it a baby thing, it's like a little fetus. I mean, it's fucked up. Enemy to the sun. Wow, guys. Totally off guard. I blocked that boss. Yeah. I knew there was going to be an enemy there. There's always one in here, too. <sighs> okay, where are we? More range enemies. Who does look? I, I can't fucking see them shooting. Get his hell land dead on that rock. I don't give a fuck. I, mean, I guess because he's dead, but. Oh. Couldn't figure out what that was. It was him laying over the bells. Hey, look, a guy from outside of the side of the wall, next to a big cliff. Man alive. What a good idea. I hope they don't do it a billion times. I feel like they had somebody design the levels, and then, like, somebody else put the, the little dudes in, right? Like, place the enemies. But then somebody go behind... And double check. It's like, ah, there's a corner you missed. You didn't you didn't put an enemy behind this corner. Gary, how many times I've told you, if there's a corner, you put an enemy there. Like going back and making damn sure. Every single corner has an enemy around the edge. Uh. Oh, look. Stuff spawned after I picked this up. Here. What the fuck are these things? Also, please target. Probably. 
Wait, is that a... Oh. No, I can't. Let's see what's over here. Other than an enemy behind all this stuff. It sounds like it's really muffled in here. I think they're trying to like make the like kind of cave muffled sound. But it, it sounds more like I'm listening to somebody else play the room, play the game in another room. Or something would be great. Uh, hey, uh, you're next. Oh, roll a barrel. Nice. Uh, what's over here? Any shortcuts? Shortcuts. Oh, it's a boss. Good. There's a parasite in there, too. Oh, the AOE goes through line of sight. Oh, good lord. Alright, so we've got to get one of those stupid baby things so we can actually have a respawn spot that's not 200 miles away. How much are those? I don't even know. Increased physical damage and defense, sure. Increased soul play stun duration. Let me go see how much those are. We can buy one. Want the farm for it. I think it was the dead guy has got it. Bosses are brutal. I mean, so far they've been fine. The area is just, like, this area, this whole, like, area is fucking dog shit. Like, it's so tedious to go through. And I can start seeing, like, some of the design crutches that they lean on a lot. Bowl of Revelation, sure. Ah, a key to shadowed holes of the past. Their delight's now yours to indulge in, bearer of the lamp. 
great. So what does this do? Oh, okay, so we can get multiple things. Or, uh, well, probably not multiple. We probably have to pick one. Less reflection. Summon radiant duplicates of Pieta to attack enemies. Jesus. 30 radiance. Wow, that sword does nothing but holy. Which is actually not good in this game. A lot of enemies are very resistant to holy. I'll buy this first because, I mean, I can't use it yet, but... Okay, so you can buy multiple things. You don't have to pick, which is nice. I don't really want any of this other stuff, but... Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you, I serve. Wait, how much was it? Chosen bearer of the until embrace. Zero ouches, so that means it's grind time. Oh boy, how many did I say? Twenty five hundred. Why is there more casters over here sometimes than others? I don't quite understand that. Like sometimes there's just the one. I'm gonna try two handing on this guy. I don't think it's gonna be any better, honestly, but. Crossbow off of them, all things. And I don't think it's worth killing these guys. We'll just kill these a couple times to get us a thousand. No, no backstabs. 
If you do a heavy attack from behind, uh, it will do additional stagger damage, though. Okay, I think okay, I see how that works. Cuz I wasn't quite sure before. I understand okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Lucky and hit you once, then you lose it all. But if you hit them, yeah, that's why I'm trying to like dodge behind them and stuff. So, why is there random items? Wait, what? What the fuck? Yo, saw that, right? There was nothing in here two seconds ago. And now there is? Not fucking triple balls, right? That was really weird. Oh, hopefully one more rotation we can buy the thing. We could sell too, but I don't think we've got that much stuff to sell. You guys got really good stagger resist because I fucking wailed on him from the back. <laughs> so fucking you. Because you can't, like, you can't see what they're doing when they get. When they come back from the umbral plane or whatever. <laughs> or when you're sucking their soul out. So it's hard to see that, like, they're attacking or not. But usually they will, but sometimes they won't. So it's, it's hard to tell, like, even if they've fully returned either. Whoa. Jesus, game. It's doing that. Yeah, now they're here. I was going to say, it's doing that same thing again. 
We're in Umbral now, but that doesn't matter. You don't get more of those just because you're in Umbral. Alright, we need to kill one or two more rounds. I really hope this boss leads us to not this area. Like, to get the fuck out of here. So even like strong hits from behind aren't really fucking a stand up that much. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's dead, but so now I think we can go buy it. And if we can't, I can sell enough to buy it. Oh, it's 2,500. Like thousand. you, I serve. And this will be one of those things that later on isn't a big deal, because, like, you'll kill a mob and get half of it. But. All right. Go back here. I might just try to run through, since... Oh, we use most of our souls anyway. So. Ooh, and I can do my, my buff. Because all I want to do is get my... My, uh... What am I trying to say? Get the, the thing down. Through the fucking door, thank you. Well, ball. We just have to hope that uh, we don't get randomly shot and knocked off. Because again, obviously, the literal only reason those guys exist is to knock you off the side. Uh, oh, we have to. Be in the whatever. Yeah, yeah. Fuck about the items. Hopefully, this was it. Yeah, because I think the boss is right there. That was way closer than I thought. Oh, no, that's not the boss. That's that douchebag. Because there might have been two different ones. Pointed stick. Thanks. That's useful. Wait. Did we not get a... I mean, I said brawn ring. I guess it could be something else.
Let's see what it looked like, though. Oh, oh, wait, there it is. Oh, I didn't see... Oh, I see. I read the wrong one. Increased strength attribute. Hmm. I can see that being useful sometimes. But, more importantly, what's the stat on that pointed stick? Almost as good as what I've got. Fuck, I think there was another one. Holy agony? Sounds interesting. Or it's 13 strength. It's got physical and holy on it. Question is, will do more damage? Let me get this bleed as well. Oh no, it has bleed protection. Or maybe it causes bleed. I could see them doing some shit like that. Can't run to the lamp out. Just tried it. Oh, here was it was. God damn it. Yeah, god damn it. Oh. I don't think this is too far. There was this shit here. Supposed to have armor on or something because you sometimes when you hit him, your weapon like staggers. Or something. Oh, <laughs> fucking ball. Oh my god, you fucking idiot. I guess I can look through this place now and we definitely won't be fighting the boss to use too much heal. Oh no, I think he's... Oh, he's, yeah, he's past that wall. Moth wall. Where's the hidden wall at? Of course. Off the fucking steps. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
All right. Oh, look, there's the archer. I thought it was like, I thought it was weird we went five or six seconds without a range. Yeah. Thinking something might have been bugged out. There's another one here. What the fuck? Why did they put like a million of them like right here? <sighs> All right. Well, let's go back. We'll buy another another one. So now we know we can put it like right here. But yeah, they space these out so weird. There's like none anywhere, and then three in a row. came in. Well, no, because we... This is where the stupid... The guy and the dog was. Wait, there must be another... I'm super fucking confused. Also, these little pissant never-ending mobs now take four hits. One hand. And four hits two handy. Because you come out here and there's the guy right there. Oh, wait. Or is this a different one? Again, the, oh, it is different. Yeah. Again, all these places look the fucking same. I was thinking that's the one where you walk out and like they, they pull the total shocker where there's a guy behind a wall. And you're like, oh shit. I have no idea what I would have rather done than fucking cheese grater, but must have been pretty intense. Oh, that's fine. Fuck. I was like, why has my phone battery been dying? Because I forgot to plug power back into the power. I was like, wait, what? This makes no sense. Are we in the umbral? Don't remember, just rest. How many bosses? Uh, today, none. We found one more. Oh, God, we have to be in Umbral anyway. Chosen bearer. What if they'll do the douchebag thing and like start making like in uh, God? What was it? Was it Bloodborne, where like they started making items more expensive the further you got in? That was some cunty shit right there. That was some fucking douchebag level design. Poison weapon. What if poison's any good in this game? Oh, it looks like... So, Umbral Magic looks like if you want to go... like It's like Radiance plus Inferno. It's interesting. Oh, 
holy fire equals umbral, I guess. Because, yeah, I noticed, like, when I was waking up, my phone's like, hey, your battery's almost dead. And I was like, what? It's like that. I always, like, sit it, like, on my desk charging. It's like, why? Why is it almost dead? It makes no sense. But now it does. I'm gonna plug it in real quick. Shouldn't take a second. You don't need a break. Also, Etheric, yeah, you're supposed to be paying full attention. We're about to do a boss, though. <laughs> they didn't unupgrade my weapon, right? Nope. Okay. Just making sure... Huh, that's weird that that... Wait. Is he there? I missed... No? Huh. I don't know what's up with that guy. Yeah, game right. I see him. That's a backstab. Well, I remember once we've got our spawn down, we won't have to deal with this bullshit again. There's one there, but I don't really see the point. Which, for fuck's sake. Sorry, I didn't hit it twice. because I was slightly higher than him. And for some reason it didn't connect. It's interesting you can kind of place it where you want. Like, it's a totally pointless feature, but it's kind of cool that you have that option? I don't know why, it just kind of is. See, I've said positive things. I'm, I'm really wanting to like this game, guys. I really wanted to like it. And I really liked it after the first session. But but it's been, it has been brutal, but in the worst possible ways today. Um, I could go for the boss. Let's explore until we enough the level, and we'll do that. 
Yeah, visually the game's great. Oh, there's a stupid fucking archer up there. Uh, he gets stuck there. I keep forgetting you can actually, like, combo and change. Like, while you're in a combo, you can change two-hander. Like, you can swing once one-handed, and then the second swing, switch to um, two-handed. He missed that. I don't think his little sword block, sword, shield block thing. Um, here we go. Uh, works against. Uh, Heavy attacks. See, these things are back to taking a million hits again. Good target six. Gotta split these guys up a bit. Or they could just get stuck up there. I, I'm just, I am hoping it gets better after this section. I'm just hoping this was just some badly designed areas. It's just a, co and it's a combination of things, right? Like it's, one, all of a sudden, again, the same enemies I've been fighting for hours now have two to three times as much hit points as they do. For no reason. It's the same exact enemies. And just this area, like, getting around it has been a fucking nightmare because of how, like, windy it is and how everything looks kind of this, like, very, very similar. Oof. Damn, fucking in the goddamn spine. And at least one more hit. So on the good side, since we've been kind of back inside, the frame rate's not as bad. When do we need to level? Three thousand. Gotta be almost there. Okay. I need to switch into two hands in the middle of combos more often. Why so tanky? Yes. That is a damn fine question. Get this thing up. Cause, Jesus. Uh, God damn. Here it's pretty bad. Dropped below 40 here. <sighs> Trying to split them up. Getting better at remembering how to switch back and forth. Oh, 
Oh, there he goes. I was going to say. Yeah, it, uh, sometimes it will fuck you out of your special attack if you, if you're not on the same level as the enemy. But it gave it to me that time. All right. How much radiance did we need for that one spell? It was nuts, wasn't it? Thirty radiance. Actually, we're pretty close to that. I think. Yeah. All right. Twenty-eight. That spell better be badass. All right. Uh, I want to start. I'm going to give myself the uh, physical buff thing. Get through those moths. Oh. Okay. Vigor was over here. Oof. 35 FPS. I don't think I got rid of the parasite. Alright, come over here. I like your bell. in here. Your bell, bitch. Did you get the iframe that? Long to recover from that. I see an enemy actually stagger from your fucking attack, isn't it? Ooh, I don't know how that missed. Yeah. 
Good place to fight him on those stairs. Again, I don't know how that missed. Take a present, it's hammer and a vestige seed. Nice. So the boss fights themselves have been like that was definitely super easy. It was more like getting in and getting rid of the seed. Once you did that, like he was honestly a joke. But it is nice to actually fight bosses you can like react to and like again that make sense with their attack patterns. Like, oh, it looks like he's done with his attacks. Like, there was some that were a little tricky sometimes. Like, it wasn't always blatantly obvious. Let's go level up. Ouch, buddies. But his attacks, you know, made sense. Why so... Why put an enemy, like, this close to a... bonfire... Um, let's go to the vest. Okay, well, first of all, let's see what we got. Because we did get a hammer. Sacred Resonance Hammer. Hammer of a receiver of the Sacred Resonance. Maddening agony of the ceremony of the Sacred Resonance results in the deaths of almost all who undergo it. But the few survivors whose faithful will hear the sublime sound of the divine within the cacophony are considered blessed indeed. Uh, 25 strength, which that's not surprising. It's a pretty fucking big hammer. It does a good amount of holy. Oh, you need it. Wait, what? You need strength and agility for it. That's shocking. All right. I want to look at it. At least. Obviously, we're not going to be using this bad boy. Well, that's kind of nice. I like that the picture looks better. Uh, did we get anything else? I don't know if we got... S oh, we got the vestige seed. Some Death Stranding shit. Are we getting a better shield, by the way? Well, none that we can use. Yeah, that guy was all about getting rid of the the parasite. For sure, which... I mean, the, I guess the boss previous to this one was kind of that way too, sort of. But, I mean, she had a decent attack pattern. Um, okay. Yeah, let's level up. I'm trying to think of anything else we wanted to buy. Well, let's definitely upgrade because we can now cast that spell that's supposed to be super badass. I'm going to level up. I know we have enough to, to level again. But first, oh, we got to check out that spell. Right? We, like, we have to clearly check this fucking spell out. Pretty neat. <laughs> Only one of them attacked. Them. I think there wasn't enough room. Oh. What the fuck? What is it? That's the other. The archers do fucking crazy damage. <laughs> Try 
better on me the back stab again. I think I was it close enough to the front. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Yeah. That's a wall, dipshit. Good thinking, though. Might as well stick in there. Nuggets. Oh, we can go upgrade, I think. We probably have enough of those. That's a pretty cool ability. I don't know if it's... It didn't use a ton of mana. We'll have to mess with it for sure. It looks cool, if nothing else. And at the end of the day, that's what matters most. I did pick up great, right? Okay. I didn't want to accidentally sell. Uh, we don't have... Oh. We need one more of those little rocks. We could either upgrade the bell now or wait and upgrade the hammer. I feel like upgrading the hammer is probably the better choice since obviously the vast majority of our damage comes from the hammer. Ah, you again. What can I do for you? That's what she wanted to say. <sighs> what else did you have? In Radiance, Judgment. Shut up. Okay. Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Praise Our Lady. Praise Sylvanas. I can't, like, interact with him this way, can I? I probably would not really be super happy if I just sit there with the lamp in his face. I kind of want to try... Dodging at the right time applies wither. I kind of want to see how that works. I should get witch time is what it should happen. Chosen bearer of the lamp. The rebirth crystallis. I serve. Used to reassign existing player level points. Ah, so you can respec. That's nice. And 8,000 isn't too bad for a respec. I was kind of wondering about that. That's cool. I'm glad most of these games now are letting you do that. could buy a, a moss, because I don't have any of those. Just buy one. And now I'm going to have another vestige seed. I feel like you really want those. Again, I like the idea of of having a limited resource where you put the bonfires. But it just kind of ends up being you you need to know, like, find out where they are. And then there's a good chance you need to, like, farm to get them. Or I guess you could just have extras like I should have. What's up, Vlad? Thank you for 11 months. Much appreciated how you've been. Uh, this one, Etheric, it's not all bad. That's the thing, it's not all bad. Uh, the parrying is hands down better than Lies of P. Like, unquestionably better. Oh, we got a Book of Sin to hand in. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Lord, give me strength. I really oh, am trying to me. find things that I like about this game. It can't all be bad, can it? I didn't see the inner thoughts. Part of it. How has it been, Vlad? Hopefully you've been doing well. Being decent. I mean, it's better than being being bad. I mean, mine says I'm being bad. You can't see it. And also being bad beauty is fine. But well, other than that. Handling of such items is all facets of this hetero. Right. Two fellow crusaders accompanied me to Mornstead. One, a paladin who sacrificed himself to facilitate your resurrection. The other, a harrower who revealed herself to be an apostate and thief. 
when she stole the apparatus with which I am able to converse with the Council of Overseers. An apparatus I would see returned to me by your hands. Harroward Dervla can be found in the tenebrous bowels of the mine, a fitting place for one who has turned her back on Aureus Light. Whatever poisonous lies Derva may spit at you, heed them not, for they are nothing but the foul blasphemies of a fallen knave. I like that. It, I also like that it marks if there's something new on talk, so you don't have to spam it. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Anything that, like, again, it's just one of those little things that's incredibly nice. To strive in darkness, in light we walk. Also, how you like? I'm looking pretty awesome, right? I'm not even wearing my best helm. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Also, I don't know if you can do... I know you can do multiplayer in this game, but I don't know if you can do the thing where you, like, go to the boss location and then just, like, sit around and, like, try to, you know what I mean? Like, chew up to help somebody. I guess we could see if there's something like that around the boss area. How do I see in those things? Well, I mean, the bell had no holes whatsoever. So that one was a real question mark. Just started this? No, we were we're like eight hours in now. We've been we've been having some been having some issues with the game. Not gonna lie, been having some some issues. Also, I've noticed we haven't seen any of those. We haven't seen any of those like lamps where somebody dies in a long time. Also, we can... I can't move my thing, but... We can color our stuff. A little bit. I like the red. Very bloody. I, I, don't, I can't rotate my character to make it so I could see it. Wait, why is it still changing the helm? Or is it changing everything? No? Oh, it is changing everything. I think, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I mean, it looked very bloody or very rusty. Where is the pink? Uh, I'm sure they didn't want to blaspheme their game with, with pink. No pink allowed. Uh, it could go that way. Let's keep going this way. Yeah. <laughs> it always feels like somebody's watching me. Come on. That should have at least blocked early. I don't know why I didn't block at all. But I'm going to call it bullshit. Surprise. soul went but I didn't actually mean to do that wrong one oh. Jesus I forget how much in fucking sane damage that does with these upgraded ones that's fucking ridiculous that was one shot we were like full health Come <laughs> on. 
These things do way too much damage for that. I don't know why I'm fighting them, it's gonna reset. Definitely gonna start looking at stamina. Wow, I actually broke his uh, thing. Clearly, we're not going to keep that because it can't be in the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's definitely got iframes. It's got a pretty decent amount of iframes. Uh, the one time I just very slightly misjudged it. That's why I took my entire health bar, which, you know, that's insane. Make one slight miscalculation, entire health bar gone. Forget he some, like he sometimes has a third attack there. Like, see, that was clearly high frames. Because his attack went like, right through my body. All right, let's fucking heal the max. So if he doesn't hit us one time, I am going to try to do the soul soul shit. How's the storage? I don't know what the question. Now, come on, I yeah, think Jesus. <laughs> he fucking just barely hit me at the end of it. Made that a complete waste. I gotta remember not to hit him twice there. It's a slow, boring slog. But... Yeah, see, that was iframes. 100%. Yeah. Again, I was getting robbed. I feel like there's been another hip point jump. No. This guy has like, he's got to have like 3,000 hit points now. All right, let's just go. Good lord. I feel like as you progress in this game, you actually get weaker. If you upgrade, and then all the enemies take more hits. Like, you upgrade for the sole purpose of being behind slightly less. Yeah, the enemies have way too much health in this game. Well, now they do. That's the thing. Up until now, it's been fine. But bef like before, it was like fairly normal. Like I felt like it. Fe it took like a normal amount of hits to kill an enemy. Well, 
actually fucking hit. But once we, there was one very specific part of the game. Once you go past a certain doorway, you keep, like, the enemy's health jumps, like, doubles. Like, you can literally be on the other side of that door, and enemies, like, take a normal amount of hits to kill. Once you pass that door, everything takes two times as much. At least, if not more. <laughs> And the thing is, because of all, like, because of all this shit, we have to, like, re-clear this shit every time. use the lamp i mean you can it doesn't help that much it's also kind of flaky to use like look at that like, look how much damage that helped that very very little Oh, I see. Because I, I was wondering, like, why is that little white buildup? That's from the dodge thing I got. Okay. It's mostly useless, it looks like. And of course, magic against these is a complete joke. Let me just kill him. No. Nope. He's gonna one shot. What? Did I don't, I don't, this are random mob two. They should be a lot easier unless you're doing something terribly wrong. I, how? How? I've got my weapon upgraded as much as I can. Wait a Forget these pricks. Two shots. I mean, I'm left clicking, which attacks. There's really nothing to do wrong. No. And again, every before this, everything had like a decent, like normal amount of hit points. But now, all of a sudden, everything is two to three times as much as it had. Same exact mobs. Yes, it is weird. And again, especially because it's the same goddamn mobs. Literal same exact models. Look how much damage that's doing to the dog. Like, before it took, like, five or six hits. It was going to take, like, ten hits. Actually, glad you caught up. There is no difficulty setting. Much to, much to game journos to grin, there is no, no difficulty settings. Like these things used to take two hits. Now they take four. Those little like spawn dudes. Oh, it's 
going on with the lighting either. But looks kind of nice. Let's see if everything's fucking smirk. Fuck's sake, fuck off, cocksucker. Well, can I just go in here and... Yeah, everything is bullet spongy as fuck now. It's completely nuts. That you can't block, by the way. I should have did the soul suck thing on him. Tommel, thank you very much for 10 gifted subs. Holy shit, much appreciated. up cube i'm doing i've been i'm i'm making it but tom will thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs as always far far too generous i, I love that emo uh but grants to rune knight trinity sarkran ant slack last laugh lol the paper wolf purple wolf toad gaming grayson schmidt to go among mad people Alex the Table, Professor Floop, Table and Floop, where have they been? Uh, and Cube, almost damn, almost 300 gifted subs. Good lord, Tom, it's time to stop. You need to stop. Filthy Frank, dot MPV. But very much appreciated as always. Thank God. Another one of these, but we still have another way to go on the other other route. But we're probably going to want to start putting strength so we can start doing better other weapons, but right now, I mean, the current weapon we have is it basically the best one, I think, that we can wield, because it does have holy, which again, all these guys are like strong against holy. But yeah, Tommel, again, far too generous. You need to stop. No more. Oh, Jesus, my back. Yeah, I do need to remember to use the soul suck thing, but it, it just doesn't seem that good. Because you saw how much damage we did to the, like, the self-flagellating dude. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, wow. Bloody gore, Glory, 20 strength, and but 32 radiance. Interesting. I mean, that's a grand sword, so I don't even know. I probably can't even have a shield with that. And I do like doing the parry in this game. Some enemies, it's not worth parrying. But. I want to look at this flail. Ooh, look at that flail. I like that. Shame I can't really use it. You got that point, pointed stick. I'll let me put this back on so I can compare them a little bit easier. I mean, I guess this, the Hammer of Holy Agony, could be better. It, like I say, it's hard to tell, because... Well, it doesn't scale worth a shit. I mean, neither one of them do, but maybe when... Again, maybe when you upgrade it, it scales better. 
Because it's D on strength, D on radiance. The current hammer is two strength. I mean, D strength, C radiance. Uh, yeah, I don't... I think right now strength is probably not worth it, but it'll probably be worth it. Probably want to do more health. Oh, no, we're okay on that. Oh, the endurance. I had said before I wanted more endurance. Yeah, I'll do a little bit more endurance. The menus? I don't, the menus I don't really mind. How is it? Um, it's not terrible. In a period of regenerating health upon using Sanguinorarix. Let's see what this puts our strength to, this brawn one. Uh, it's definitely got a lot of issues. I definitely have a lot of issues with it. Looks like it gives it like three strength. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I was having... I was enjoying it until we got to the section we just left. I didn't like the, the layout of the area. Uh, you get you hit a point where mobs hit points just skyrockets. Same mobs you've been fighting the whole time. Suddenly they have got two to three times as much hit points as they had before. Uh, the same kind of tired tropes that a lot of these games fall into, uh, they absolutely well fall into. Ooh, nice. Get fucked. Don't have enough time to kill it. What? I guess I don't even dogs, are they? They're like weird rats. I don't have big rats. Game, as soon as you touch the stupid fucking thing. Enemies should despawn. It's like you, you did the shit in old games that could have been it, that we could do without. But then the shit that's good, you're like, let's change that. Let's do it different, just because. Yeah, so this game, if you die, you resurrect in the Umbral? Umbra? Umbra? And then if you die in the Umbra, you die in real life. But it takes so long to fucking cast. But yeah, it, it falls into the old tired tropes that these games fall into. The like, oh look, there's a there's a cliff with an item on it. Gosh, I wonder if there's an enemy around that corner. Oh look! There's an enemy around the corner, or oh, there's there's a random ranged enemy, like who's doing nothing but sitting there waiting for you to go get that item. Like this game does that really, really bad. Like every single corner, pretty much, you know there's an enemy behind it. Especially if you're next to a cliff. There will be an enemy next to it 100% of the time. 100% of the time. And being an umbra is a real pain in the ass. That's why I'm resting. Uh, let's slowly kill these dogs. Kill these two. Oh no, they took off. Good. Or are they still coming? Jesus. By the way, I'm I'm fully upgraded this weapon. In case you're wondering, like maybe I haven't upgraded. My weapon is fully upgraded. Well, as upgraded as I can get in this part of the game. I'm two-handing it. 
And these like little little pansette mobs still take about six hits each to kill. It's a parasite. You have to go in there for this. See that guy running into him. Oh, we gotta go in the umbrella anyway. More dogs, cool. Let's run back. I'll say the parry feels good in this game. Uh, I think it's better than Liza P for sure, as far as parrying goes. Thank you, Lab Chimp. Coming out and for those nuggets of wisdom. Oh, the parrot. Oh, right. We gotta open this brick. soul with such a heretical burden i cannot help but feel like this path only leads me leads all of us further from aureus's light not closer to it exactor there must be some other way so you deem my guidance injudicious no i and your soul of greater significance than the world entire and all other souls upon it no for one whose family name bears the shame it does isaac you exhibit an unfortunate tendency toward recalcitrance. I would be discontented if the hubris to which your brother succumbed was confirmed a familial sin. Look to the damnatory skin you carry, Paladin, for that is your true burden, not the umbral lamp. Wow, an actual soul uh, palette. Holy shit. I don't know why there's butterflies here, but... Lot of innovation in the formula. Um, I'm trying to think something they're doing that's different. Uh, the umbral thing is the definitely the big difference. However, so far, it's it like it looks cool. Like it's it's really impressive. Like how they went through these areas, and like there's 
two, basically two versions of every area, and it looks like really good. Like it looks creepy, and like you get these Death Stranding type people hovering in the air and shit. Like it looks really cool, but a lot of times it just ends up being really annoying to deal with. And you got things like that. So, for example, right there, there was a parasite. There's these parasites that uh, make it so that enemies that they're helping oh, You want to kick or not? Thanks. Are invulnerable. <clears throat> so you have to like, use the lamp to get rid of the parasite. Oh, he just got tired of me hitting him, I guess. So you have to fiddle around with the lamp, pull the, and the lamp out. And it, it probably wouldn't be so bad if you're not a caster or don't use range much. But when you use range, at least on PC, You've got to, like, so if I had a, like, I press one to go for the lamp, press two to switch to, um, I'm just going to go, we have enough to level. Uh, press two to switch to spell mode, and then one to switch to lamp mode. But just because you're in that mode doesn't mean you're using it. It just means that when you press control, you use whatever you had, what mode you're in. So if I'm in lamp mode, I hit control, I pull the lamp out. If I'm in caster mode, when I hit control, I'm in caster mode. And I'm assuming it works somewhat similar. I have no idea how it works with the controller. But it ends up being this clunky thing where, like, you're in the middle of a fight, and, like, you want to cast a spell, but you just had the lamp selected. So you accidentally, like, use the lamp. You're like, oh, wait, shit, I meant to use the spell. Or vice versa, you were, you know using a spell but now you want to use the lamp to like suck a soul out or to get rid of a parasite and you cast a spell instead uh like the combat's cool like they obviously put some time into like combos and whatnot because you can your combos can flow like switching between uh, like one and two-handed so you can like hit them twice with one-handed and then like switch to two-handed for the third hit and they each have like a slightly different animation. So that stuff was really cool. Like they, they put that kind of effort into that. But the number one problem right now is is definitely just the sponginess. Everything feels like I feel like I'm weaker than when the game started. I feel like we went backwards. I legit feel like I'm significantly weaker than we started playing the game. And again, it, it like obviously mobs get tougher as you level, right? Like I mean, that's just like no shit, right? But the thing is, it's the same. I mean, I've said this a thousand times, but it's it's because it's the same mobs. It's the exact same mobs, but they just have two to three times as much hit points and damage. I might be able to upgrade my weapon again, by the way. Let me see. Wait. No, I need another one of these to upgrade the weapon, I think. Should be able to. By the way, we have some of the highest armor in the game. You saw that dog hit me once. It took about half my health. We have 
basically as high of physical protection as we possibly can have right now. I would like to not have to grind through that shit again. So see, I gotta kill the parasite. Gotta, right, it's then. Oh yeah, there's definitely some serious balance issues. Okay, again. Okay. I got stunned. Mobs just have way too much hit points and way too much damage too quick. I was saying earlier I felt like I missed an area. Like I legitimately feel like I missed an area. Because the the jump was so sudden, it felt like, okay, there's got to be some area of the game I haven't found yet. I'm clearly not supposed to be here yet. No, I don't think so. Oh, we, oh there's that one other area we can go check real quick. Uh, I'll go see if I can get my souls. I don't really give a fuck. The, the, and this game, too, is set up so that you can't... The other huge problem is, like, in other souls, like... Oh, cool. Thanks for fucking me and only summoning one. That's neat. <laughs> is like the Jesus game it's also got technical pro problems as you saw there it's not very well optimized early in the game it was fine for me but later on it got really bad like here it's actually not bad Like, I'm getting 50 plus frames a second. And again, keep in mind I'm running OBS, so an OBS is horribly inefficient. But, like, mobs aggro, they tend to follow you a long way, so it's like. It's not really feasible a lot of time to just run past everything, so you end up killing the same shit over and over again. Or in Souls like, you tend to just skip them after the first time. You also need to grind in this game because the the actual like quote unquote bonfires you can get are very uh, you and far between. Who has it? We haven't aggroed the other shit. Somehow. Like, before, that guy aggroed. I don't know why, but he did. Even though he's like a mile away. This guy's got aggro, which I know that. Jesus. Okay, he's got a million hit combo. Okay, he just never stops attacking. That was like six hits. Or six hits. Jesus. Can I get an attack in, please? Oh my god, did that heal him? Oh, Jesus. Because, you know, giving mobs 8 billion hit points wasn't enough. Right. We gotta... We gotta have, let them heal, too. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah, the co-op has got huge problems, too. Yeah, I like... That's why I said I... And it doesn't help that, again, like, in the area I was at, where that difficulty spike hits... It's very generic. Like, all the areas look the same. 
and it's very windy. There's like a bunch of different paths and they all lead to areas that look the same. So it's often easy to lose track if you've been there before or not, or like where stuff is, stuff like that. Uh, let's go back to that one. Yeah, well, a lot of the ratings being bad is because of how it runs. Dodging this guy. Archers out. Shooting me from a mile away. See, I opened there, I did the first attack with the one hand so it was faster, and then I switched the two hand for the damage. I'm gonna try to trigger this guy and then just run. Cause He's got a million fucking hit points. And if you make a single mistake, he'll get, like instant kill you. Again, even with the highest damage reduction. Come on. It actually had worse rating before. I think it was at like 30-ish, yes? Like when I was looking at it from work. Come on over here. Normally the passing is pretty ass, but I'm sure he'll manage to find me. Oh, it's water. Oh, it's this shithole. What's down here? Oh no, wait, this is where we went. So it was what was the other way that I was looking at? That's where we were. I was saying earlier, honestly, I like the first game better. Like, this one, it's like, I just, like, the first game was buggy, and it was, it was clunky as balls. Like, the actual combat and stuff is undeniably better in this, like, not even close. But it wasn't just non-stop annoyance and boredom and frustration like this game is. uncomfortably orgasmic. Uh, I'm gonna look down here. Oh, for God's sakes. Forget it. The minute I see they got a parasite, I'm just like, no, fuck it. Rather do literally... I'm, I wonder if there's an enemy here. Oh my God, there's no enemy? Are you in the... There? Wow! I'm shocked. You could almost always assume. By the way, there's two shards. We can upgrade our mace to be slightly less of a wet noodle now. Let me guess. Okay. Well, I can walk across this. I'm sure, like a range enemy will hit me to make you drop off or something. I don't know. Now they tried. Hey, look! A guy around a corner! Holy shit! Didn't see that coming. Wait, let's try to fight this guy so we can see if he's got the inflated hit points. Well, if I can stop getting hit by... Well, never mind. Random rage shit. I don't 
of course, he's got a parasite. Yeah, see how much faster he's dying? Not even close. Oh, so this goes... Well, we did drop. Oh, and there's snipers all over the place. There's rain shit constantly in this game. Anytime you get to an open area, again, you can assume there's going to be at least two ranged enemies around. That magically shoot through all this shit that you can't shoot through. Weird! Wow, it's so weird how they shot through it and I, I can't. So bizarre. Let's go back. I still want to see. Oh, I'm going to do an upgrade now, I guess. Um, start leveling strength up a little bit so we can start getting ready to build better weapons. Try not to lock up again. Yeah. I see the enemy. Now these are definitely the chunkier enemies, or at least some of them are. Like those guys normally take four hits. That guy took eight. Again, same exact type. Enemy type. I see where this comes out. Wait. Well, I mean, I still need to go back if I can explore that area without getting knocked off a thousand times. Like, this whole area, this whole, like, Blight Town 2.0 they got trying to go for here is, like, their entire design idea is let's knock the player off the side. That's it. That's the entire theme of the entire stage. That's all they do. They've got a million range guys. They've got guys around corners right next to the big uh, drop-offs. Uh, one enemy specifically has a, like a push animation just to push you off that area. Remember the bats in Neo? I think it was Neo 1. They might have had it in Neo 2 as well. But the bats who would fly out of the crevice like when you were right next to a ledge. Imagine that, but about a hundred times. Where's the one who shot me? Oh, there he is. What's cool is I can't target him, but he can target me. Now see, that's a normal one. It only took three hits. See what I mean? Like, 
it's just so random and fucking arbitrary. Now, this is a normal one of these. All right, let me go kill this stupid fucker. But this one takes... about seven or eight. The other one took three. Let's we'll heal. Magic heal. I don't know if putting points in radiance makes your heals better. I mean, you think so, but in this game, there's no telling. I'm trying to throw him off the edge. Jesus, that was just a regular hit, and it did almost all of my health. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Why is that doing so much damage? Like, his little wimpy slaps are doing as much as his fucking head crunch thing. Fighting you for five fucking minutes. Ooh, we got a bunch of upgrade mats. Uh, we could put a Beatus thing here, but we can only have one. Let's check this first. Let's see. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Why would you put... So they put those in the most random spots. Like, why would you put... A teleporter. Uh, never a bonfire. It's a bonfire. Because <laughs> there's a resting area right there. Speaking of, I'm going to go this way. It might be faster to go this way, actually. I'm trying. I'm trying, boys. The other reason I thought I might have skipped an area was because I noticed, like, once we kind of crossed that threshold, it seemed like we were getting a lot more XP. So I was like, okay, like... Like, maybe they'll just... Maybe they fucked up the curve, but they're like, well, fuck it, we'll give them so much XP that they can catch up quick. They'll have to grind it out, but... But I don't know, I, I feel like we explored... Pretty much everything. Right now, there's only two areas we haven't checked. Um, well, there's one area we're checking now, and then the one with uh, the new area, which is, I think, where we're supposed to be going with, uh, like, the dog. 8,000 dogs, and everything has a parasite. Oh, I was going to go see if we can... And I won't have the souls to do the upgrades. Parasite. 
See, now, see, this guy's not anywhere near as bad as far as hit points. Damage, I don't know. I'd rather not find out. Well, see, he hit me there. Barely did any damage. Barely did any damage. The other version was doing about 80%. I'll need to kill a couple of I swear sometimes there's one near us, sometimes not. I think one of them just runs over there, maybe. Alright, let's hope that's enough. Bring it to four. I, mean, I want to see how much is the upgrade. All right. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so it's eight more physical damage and eight more holy damage. So 16 more damage total to bring it to level four. Uh, it increases the scaling slightly. So let's see. Um... It probably is not factoring that in. So it says 180 right now. Our, our current weapon is 160. So let's upgrade. No, it's still 180. I mean, that's a decent-ish upgrade. Uh, oh, we need four for the next upgrade. I feel like we definitely want to upgrade the, the weapon more. Maybe cut how much? It only takes one. Makes the scaling slightly less bad. Uh, fuck it, let's do it. Oh, well. Oh, bigger. We did get at least one of the. Skull things. 1600. I don't really want to waste that much. This is definitely the game that's the stingiest with the soul pouches that I've ever seen, for sure. Like, usually they give those things out like candy. But this game is incredibly stingy with them. Like, I think we've gotten... seven or eight in the entire game. Let's go to the bell room. I want to finish exploring that area. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I'd be curious if anybody else has been, like, watching somebody play this. Like, are they doing reasonable damage at this point? At this point of the game. I mean, this is the door I was talking about, by the way. Uh, this door right here. The minute you go through this is when when the scaling starts to go nuts. Uh, also, down uh, down the elevator, but that comes later. You have to unlock that by going through that door. So it sort of, kind of, is the same thing. Not really, but I'm going to count it. Keeper and a mouse has not been bad, though. Uh, I would be really curious to know how the lamp and magic... How do you switch between those on controller? Please target. We're back to 
We're, we're back to hitting those and killing those with four hits, so that's good. We're, we're making progress by eliminating regress. All right, the next thing we want to check is upstairs. I'm not sure if I can't get this numbnuts to jump off. Oh, can I even make... I can make that jump, I bet. Or I could just walk on it, I guess. Alright, we're gonna have to get fancy with this. I wonder if there's any stealth options here. Too bad you don't have opposable thumbs. You could climb this ladder. Real shame. Come on. No, oh my God. Tar target the big fucking enemy. Holy shit. Oh, I should have knocked him over the edge, but... See, I did nothing. Oh, there's another barrel. Oh, look, an enemy on the other side of an edge. What the? That was the slowest barrel roll ever. Oh, now see, these are normal. Normal enemies. I won a two-shot. What the fuck is going on with this game, I swear to God. There'll be an enemy to the side there, most likely. That was only three. Dude, what is going on with the consistency in this game? Is there anything? No, I thought maybe there's something cool we could get by dropping down there. I was gonna kill that guy, but fuck it, it's not worth it. <clears throat> Look at that. Archer's all over the place. Really? Right. It's not really a great place to fight. Reason right there. There's an elevator though. Oh, that's um. Oh my god. What? What the fuck happened there? That was weird. I didn't take any damage, but I got knocked back. Again, look at this guy's hit points. Get melted completely. Let's trigger this. So I think I know where this goes. I don't actually think I need to trigger that. I think I just need to walk on it. And that, like, fixes it. Or not. I was expecting this to go down. of the Hollowed Brothers. Where in the fuck? <laughs> Where are we? Little shrine. Ward. 
There's the Elden tree. I mean the Erd tree. I mean the thing that we had to extinguish. Oh, there's the thing. Let's get this with the quickness. Vestige of Fever's the Char. Maybe this area will have more reasonable enemies? I mean... Let's see, can I... What's up, bro? How's it going? It's like, ah, uh, you know. Just working. Oh, no. Yeah, that's all. I just didn't. Uh, I want to rest here. We're going to go back up. I want to check. Up, there was a door there, too, I want to look at. I mean, there's plenty to explore, which is nice. That's a good thing. Um, you know what? I don't trust this game. I'm going to go up to Sky Rest because i got to go pee and grab a refresh on my drink and take a short break. Um. But I mean, there's there's plenty of like it feels it definitely feels a lot more like Dark Souls in that regard, especially original Dark Souls, right? Because you were, I mean, there was an obvious path you were typically supposed to go, uh, but you could kind of deviate a little bit. Uh, but then once you got to the point where you had to get the four four senders or whatever they were, then you really could just kind of go go which order. I'm kind of curious if they're doing that now. Like, I'm wondering if these paths are going to really start... Because before, the paths kind of, like, diverged and went back together like they, you know, typically do in games like this. But I'm wondering if maybe they'll, like, really s split off. And it's like, this path is, like, completely different and it takes you... I mean, I'm assuming you have to go to all of them uh, to, to do whatever it is you gotta do. But, anyway, uh, I gotta pee. I'll be back. Y'all listen how funny I am. Bye. I mean, not bye, but you know what I mean. Alright, so I forgot what I was doing. Pretty sure we did our upgrades. Yes, we did. Whoa, what can I blow for you? Do a mega sale on Black Friday? I mean, I imagine. They do a sale for, like, anything they can think of. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I think we're good. We want to go... Here. No, no, no. This way and then back up. All right, Etheric. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Or I can, like, I... We, well, we can talk about it later, but... I mean, again, the game looks great. Like, I love the set pieces and shit. Like... It looks really good, and like I said, the, the combat itself feels good. Like the hammer in particular feels very weighty. Like when you just like haul back and smack the shit out of somebody, like it it feels like it's fucking them up. Because like the sound, your animation, the enemies, like oh fuck, ow, that hurts. Is all great. Also, wait, what? Why is it raining down here? What? Okay. If I never saw another parasite again. I just to get him. Jesus. I could fucking see. That would be neat. Game, if I could fucking see. Wow. Like, how did I survive that? What the fuck? 
How did I? Whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll I'll take that. Pure blade mace. I think we've got one of those, right? I think it was kind of ass. Oh, anvil hammer. It's a lot of strength. That's just strength. Okay. Oh, we can actually use the hammer of holy agony now. I mean, the damage is way worse. I have to see about upgrading it. Hello. <sighs> This is the guy with eight million fucking hits. The trick with him is gonna be fair when I can, when it's my turn to play the game. This one doesn't have crazy hit points though. Oh, he's... But he heals, isn't that cool? Everybody loves enemies that can fucking heal that you can't interrupt. Why does he growl like a fucking tiger, by the way? Yeah. Oh shit. That was close. Yeah. Yeah, enemies that heal themselves that already have a fuckload of hit points are my absolute fucking goddamn favorites. Oh, target. Oh, I forgot how to target. There's no way we can do this. Let's go to the umbral because that stupid bitch is there. It's time to fight 8,000 enemies. Yeah, I love enemies who heal that you can't interrupt. Almost should just run in and grab the item. I feel like that's a common theme with this game. Don't fight. Just run in, grab items, keep running. Yeah, why is it daylight up here, but then we just go down and it's raining? How the fuck does that work? It's evil rain. Oh, I meant to change my socket. This socket sucks ass. The one that, when you dodge, it builds up wither. It's pretty much worthless. randomly switch. I know. Shocking. But I don't want to randomly switch to another enemy. Okay, that's it. Heal. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, block that, but alright. I just kill him first. He has no hit points. He's not like the other ones. He's way weaker. Ugh, good. All right.
Wait, does he have to channel that? Because either he just never bothered to attack during any of that, or while he's healing, maybe he has to channel, but I'm pretty sure he's attacked before. Who knows? Blood letter. Okay. Looks like that'll be something that looks good on the vendor. Play agility and radiance. Interesting combo. Fucked up. Okay, that's all that was. Uh... I forget which direction we came from. I think we... Hey, look. God. Jesus. Also, they never get armor except when they do the push move. They, they get armor that then and only then. This is new. Could put a thing here, but I, mean, I guess I could actually see a good reason for putting one there. Sort of. Yeah, you hit that one really well, game. Really, do you really have a? <laughs> The problem is I don't know if we've been here before. And I don't want to waste my time. We already have. Is this in heal up? Do not. Another thing where there's like eight million dudes in here. No. Switch. I just pull them in and just run past them. Again, very common theme of this game. Pull them in, run past. Wow, there's another range guy out here? Man, I didn't see that. Holy shit. Guys, there's a the range guy guarding the range guy. This is some fucking 70 chess shit. I think we've been here. Slinger's Ring. would move. Okay. You see the guy right in front of me? Okay. I know it's super confusing who I could possibly want to target. And you would think it would be the guy way in the back. Standing in the doorway doing nothing. I can understand why you would think that. But it wasn't. I feel like this game needs invisibility spells, so you can just run around and like find items and pick them up and then leave. Uh, do I really want to waste my time with that? I guess we'll go look. I'm not. I don't care about the fucking souls. We're just gonna run through.
Let's get another one on waste. One of them. Baby things. And the other thing is it overwrites your old one. I'm trying to think where that one's at. I don't think we need it anymore. Yeah, we don't. It's, um... It's, um... Oh, wait, no. That looks stupid. I guess it could be. We have two of them. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, the other one's by the boss. We already have a door over there, so it should be fine. If you guys want to block each other, that's great. Fine with that. can't target the right fucking person, just go. Just go. Just go. Holy shit. Alright. The fuck did he sh- what? Oh, he heals both of them. Oh, yeah, no, it definitely don't kill him. The game, if you give, a bit, like, trash mobs ability to heal each other and give them fuckloads of hit points, people are just going to run by. There's no point. Why the fuck would I attack them? Oh, so fucking tiresome. Just go. Just run. Just run past everything. That's what this game is. Run past everything. What the fuck is this shit? Let's see. Always good. Anything, any items in here? Thanks. very strongly encourages you just to say fuck it and run past everything. Like, and I've never done that in these games. As far as, like, when I'm in a new area, obviously if I've been there, like, a bunch. Clearly. But, like, I've never just, like, oh my... I never just wanted to, like, run through new areas. Like, it's kind of the fun of exploring them. This game, I'm like, I just want to get through this. I just want to... I just want to run through this as fast as possible. Alright. Well, I'm going to consider this area explored. 
We got a few items. Let's never ever go back here ever. What's funny is this game is like fucked up the balance of like the boss fights are easy. The trash mob the, the garbage trash mobs are the ones that have like way too much hit points, way too much damage. Uh, healing when they clearly shouldn't be healing. Let's try it this way to see if it's less monotonous than the other one. Because of the dogs. These have a ton of hit points. Oh, and we don't stagger. Those used to be like two to three hits, I think. Oh, game. How about you don't hitch? Not a running around a corner. Even a drop attack didn't kill him. With a one shot. Got a shortcut at least. Huh. One of these again. Thing, because if I attack, I'll take damage. Maybe that's the mistake I'm making. I'm not just attacking until they die. Look, range guy. the enemy hiding behind. One of these. Range guy? Shocking. I can't believe it. Oh. 
He doesn't do that very much. Let's get the shortcut. We might uh, play something else shortly. Um, oof, this game is really not good. This is the worst Souls like I've ever played. you to switch. Hello. That was about the fifth time I pushed it. back before we get shot by there he is come on I can't attack because you've got the gold shield so I have to wait on you Let's see what's over here. Where's the archer? Oh, there he is. Come on.
let's see. I do feel like there was something with bells with the first game. Now that I think about it. I don't remember what it was, but... Gosh, I wonder if there's guys in there so that when I run in, they'll jump down and attack. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Now I'm sure this guy's by himself. Oh, look. Shock. So let's slowly wait for him to maybe pass out. Nope, he's not going to do it. He's confused. Come on. I know there's a, a bench there. It's very confusing. There you go. Fuck that bench. Let's go. Come the fuck on. Thanks for dragging that out as much as possible. Oh look, guy came out of the wall. I'm shocked. This is my shocked face. I'm totally shocked. Look, another ranged guy on the side. Who knew? I think this guy is better at two-hander. Thing it is. I really know. Yeah, no, he definitely does not have to just focus to get the heal. We get to go through his hit points again. But he got his health, health back. God, die. Holy shit. Like, the thing is, like, a lot of these enemies would feel like, ooh, like, this is an elite. It's like, these are normal enemies that you had to sit there and fight for five fucking minutes. And you get, like, nothing for it. It's like, cool. Go fight the next one now. It's like, oh, cool. Thanks. do this so I can at least heal. Sweet. More random spawn. At least I got with a normal hit point one. Wait, see what? I did item. Why oh, it's it's black in here.
Glad you stood there while I hit the range guy to death. Now see if you could break the like the guard or whatever of this tougher guys. I mean, even then though, like your your super attacks or whatever don't do that much against them. But how many ranged? Just the one that we can see. Yeah. Run into that barrel. I definitely won't notice you there. There was markings. I thought maybe they were significant. It was just graffiti. Oh, we could put a thing here. Uh, yeah, the other one's pretty worthless to us now, so might as well. Uh, I'm gonna activate, but I'm not... Well, we can upgrade. Oh, you have to rest when you upgrade. I was gonna say I'm not gonna rest, but it looks like you have to. With a ring, we can... Use that weapon. I'd be kind of curious to see. Actually, I guess we could go see if it's better now. Yeah, might as well. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice if it will let you see, like, weapons upgrades, like, every level. That would be nice. Let me see. Where is it? No. What's ours now? 200 attack power. This one's 111. Yeah, I hate you can't see. Like, it's like, well, is this worth upgrading even? Doesn't seem like it, because it's only going to get... Oh god, uh, brain, come on. 15 attack power total. And this has got like 200. I mean, obviously, it's this is level 5 as well. I feel like this is... Hold on. I'll try using it, I guess. Like I say, I don't really want to spend the very valuable souls and I because I don't want to farm to be able to upgrade. Because the upgrades are pretty expensive in this. And they don't give you enough of the skulls to really use those for upgrades, which is typically what you end up using them for. Wow, that gives us one more damage. Hmm. 
Wow. That gives... <laughs> so giving strength increases it plus one. Faith gives it plus one. Yikes. I mean, I guess we'll do Radiance for the mana and stuff. I feel like that weapon actually gives you bleed for using it. Right? That or a defense against bleed? We'll we'll try it out. I mean the weapon God, I can't imagine how all the damage is gonna be on it. That's like half. I mean it looks pretty brutal. With the nails in your hand you shouldn't worry about dropping it. So I guess that's a benefit. You need the Mance Kitchen Key. Alright. Alright, where are the range guys at? There he is. Of course I can't target him. So let me just... Wow, it does fuck all damage. I think only one of the angels popped up. I gotta stop, like, tapping the, the block. Like, I tap it. I don't hold it. You wanna hold it. That way, if you mistime it, you still get at least the block, right? Kicking. I'm doing super blue now. I mean, I know I'm in Umbral, but this happened before, too. So it doesn't. Oh, it. So either this was giving me bleed. Hold on, let me... No, it's not. He was. Good God! Oh, right. We do have a shit weapon. I mean, the weapon might not be shit, it's just not upgraded. I wonder if it... No, it doesn't... I don't think it would build bleed. It makes it seem like it resists. That seems like that would be your resists, alright. That would make sense. Holy Wool Bulwark Gauntlets. Hey, and we got the kitchen key. Nice. Make sure none of this other stuff is upgrades. What a weird thing to do there. Like, you need the key for this door. Okay, where's the key? Oh, that guy, like, five feet away has it. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's the range? Oh, there he is. Oh, I didn't see him, but I saw the shooting. Where's the second one? Okay, well, I guess we'll head back out. Hmm. 
No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, I, that's the thing. It might. If I upgrade it, it might. I don't know, though. And I don't want to spend the souls, because we really, really, really need the XP for levels. I guess they're all over now. What's the tell? Dude, that was a different one. Oh, let me go back to... I keep forgetting. I want to go back to... Um, the main area. I want to swap out that eye, because the one we have socketed now is dog shit. The one that builds whatever on dodge. It's too little. Uh, you have to do it just right. It's just, it's just not enough. And you don't get the extra uh, charge. Not that we use it that much, but so far the whole drain, soul drain thing has not been very useful. The stun resistance might be nice. Or stun duration. Let's try that. That one might be useful. Chosen bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. Ring of gnawing. Regain mana upon striking an enemy. Uh, that's pretty fucking nice. Until her embrace. So that's like 3,000. This will be just about perfect. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you until her embrace. Uh, the strength for sure. Oh, we also got some new shit I forgot. The additional damage with throwables. Yeah, thanks. Increase holy defense. I definitely want the tooth. I mean, I don't really want to wear a tooth, but... But be what it be. I forget which game did it, but one of the souls like did a thing where you could actually look at every level to see if upgrading was worth it. Like you could see ahead of time. You didn't just guess. Wow, I got neither angel. Thanks, game. It's, it's my fault that I tried to summon right there. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Well, at least you didn't take my mana. Oh, wait, you also took the fucking mana. Thanks. I like when the spell doesn't work. And you take my fucking mana. Uh, that suspect is hell. Look, another range guy. The others are up here.
And it's sus sussy as hell. The fuck? I mean, there's markings. And there's like an archway. There's gotta be something there, right? There's gotta be. Yeah, after this session, I'm definitely going to go online and see if, like, other people are, are feeling the same. Like I said, most of the complaints I saw were, you know, the, obviously the, the technical problems, right? Because if you're having technical problems, you can barely even play the game. Clearly, that's going to be the first thing you're, you're complaining about, right? The other streamer quit and refunded after an hour. But was it because of technical problems, though? Because, I mean, again, if, you're, if you can't even play the game, then yeah. But I, I still feel like some of those issues, at least the people who were saying, like, oh, I can't even run the game, like it crashes at your character select. Honestly, I feel like those people didn't up update their shit. Like, I feel like they didn't update their drivers. Because multiple people I saw said the same thing. But then were like, oh, I updated my drivers and it's fine now. Because there was new drivers, like, the day before. Also, that was close. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, but... Care to stop being on a move? Okay, so you still like technical issues, right? Like bugs. Oh, it's those things. He's doing the staying alive dance. Look, you men, at the wickedness which can take root within the walls of our own house if we falter in our vigilance, our rigorousness for even the briefest moment. See how malevolence and greed and weakness can twist the souls of those who once swore a solemn oath and then turn them away from the light of our eternal lady, where they skulk and plot in shadow, waiting until they can enact their most foul betrayals. But above all else, heed what will be the fate of all traitors who submit to sin. Yeah. You tell him. You can tell by the way he uses his walk, he's a woman's man. But time to talk. This is probably not going to work. Wow, that did no damage at all. Couldn't give him because of the angle, I think. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw it fucking hit me through the goddamn wall. Again. Oh, another one. Cool. These are super fun to fight. Yeah. 
the uh, nasty choking noise. Also, when she goes to do the grab, she shows me her taint. I definitely wanted that. Oh my god, would you fuck off? Oh, sweet. I went from almost full dead with a single grab. Neat. Oh, I might not accept random DMs. If you're in the Discord, you can send it on the Discord. The eggs take five to six hits while wielding a two-hander. Would you pick your fucking health up? I told him that there he goes, he didn't pick it up. The second one coming from this time. Like using spirit and got a vestige seed, that's nice at least. Like, Traven trying to mix in, like, heavy attacks, thinking, well, maybe if I mix in, like, a heavy attack, these guys won't take forever to kill. But they always take four. We already did that. There's something over... Whoop. Yes, game. Please, turn around. We have enough to level, let's go back and level. And then I think we might just wrap for the day. This game has definitely been a huge, huge disappointment. Put it mildly.
I almost wonder too, like if maybe a different weapon would be better. I mean, I didn't like the, I like the hammer better than the axe, like the, what you call it, the black arrow ranger or the black feather ranger or whatever. That's what I was doing testing, and I hated the axe. Like it felt even worse than the hammer. Like even the beginning enemies, I was noticing as like, huh? I was like, man, you really have to wail on these things to kill them. And, but I was thinking, like, well, you know, it's an archer character. You're supposed to be shooting him with, with the bow and stuff. So I was like, well, that's probably, you know, a big part of it. Uh, and then we get, when I started playing her, I was like, oh, okay, well, she's fucking shit up with this hammer. Like, it's doing really good damage, especially, like, the 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 charge heavy attack. Uh, it does a fuckload of damage. But, like, the the scaling is horrible. The enemy skill in this game is fucking terrible. You know, like I said, I, I won't, I won't, you know, go into it too much, but it's just if these mobs had maybe slightly more hit points than they did to start with, it wouldn't be that bad. But like again, it it literally feels like my character is going backwards. I'm stronger when I started the game than I am now. These ex same exact enemies we were. Like the, the trash, the trash mobs that are in the Umbral, we were killing them with two shots. Now they take four of a weapon that I've upgraded and I've got better stats. So I'm doing significantly more damage. In fact, I'm kind of curious. Uh, I'm going to do another Radiance. And the thing is like, oh, well, you know, you should maybe cast more. But my spells aren't doing shit either. Like, even upgraded this spell. Like, the only one that does any good is that the Valkyrie type one. And that one, like you saw, like it's buggy as shit. If there's not enough room, even if there is enough room, uh, the they just won't spawn. How dare you not realize there was a Discord? I'm curious about something. I don't think we see that enemy anymore. But these are different enemy types. This is not a great test. I want to find one of the like piss ant mobs. We're always like popping around. Bonk. Ring that bell. Oh, right. This is where they're teaching you to dodge. Yeah, I don't think they put any of those enemies here. Probably go a little bit. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I go past where the boss was, I bet we'll see some. Yeah, we're not like a super, super busy Discord, which I kind of prefer, honestly. I also like those, those Discords with like 8 million like runes. I guess I could get it if, like, you're a, a smaller or a big channel and, like, a bunch of different people want to talk about different things. But I feel like at some point you just kind of dilute it, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of curious about checking over here. Yeah, we have not seen any of those red, like, lanterns, like the revenge lanterns or whatever they're called. Damn it. We might need to be here longer. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to do anything new. Uh, I'll either wrap the stream up or maybe do some DVD or something. Probably not Street Fighter. I'll need to be even more annoyed. 
One shot. Same enemy. And again, like, I get indie game, well, Florida indie game 2, what do you call it? Double uh, A. Like the battery. You can't have, like, a, you know, million different mob types. So, yeah, I get that. But... One shot. Well, okay. Just shy of one shotting. Same exact mobs now. We have to hit like four times. So I get like reusing. That's like. They've got to have like 245. Look at that. Like you can't even see his hit point bar. We'll call that one shot. So we'll, we can one shot these now. And these. Well, we get two shot these. But now they take way more hits. I think I think the the caster dudes, the holy holy casters, I think those take four two hand hits. So again, I, I get that you know you've got to do some model reusage, but fuck, make them look different. Like they look exactly the same to me. It just feels horrible as a player to fight the exact same mobs. And you're doing worse after upgrading. Like it's like MMOs get around that shit by like, oh, you you fought those red level one crabs. Well, at level fifty, they're blue crabs and they're bigger, you know, or something like that, right? So to kind of make it seem like you're not fighting the same same mob. Uh, but like this, like I said, it doesn't. Feel like there's any difference i can't like just from looking at it i can't tell if the mob is going to be one of the ones that i can kill with two hits or the ones that take five or six and it's a shame because i, I like the combat like the parrying feels really good it feels like parrying doesn't give you quite enough stagger though maybe maybe different shields do more stagger or wither i guess I'm not sure. Probably not. Because you're not really hitting him with a shield exactly. But. I mean there's wither percentage. But that's just your defense. But anyway. Like yeah. It just doesn't feel like. Like you parry, 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 parry. And then finally you can do your big hit. But even your big hit now doesn't do that much. I feel like that's worse too. Like, I feel like I was seeing way bigger damage. I, I felt like before, like, if you get that in, like, the enemy's pretty much dead at that point. And now it's like, oh, cool, I just took off 20% of its health. Like, they have got to do something about... So, uh, again, like, unless there was some massive section that I missed, and we're supposed to be, like, 20 levels higher with, like, way better gear, but I, I really don't think that's the case. If we missed anything, it's probably, like, some smaller area, right? I'm sure there's like some like little nooks and crannies that I missed, but no like major like areas or anything. But everything just takes so long to kill and they love to put shitloads of enemies together. And then God forbid you're in the Umbra. Well, now you get nonstop little shitling mobs that take four hits. And again, like I don't I don't understand. I, I feel like it's so blatant. It's like Velix was saying earlier, it's so blatant, I feel like I have to be missing something. Like, my hammer's level 4. I, I don't think I can upgrade it again. We'll go look. And it's not going to matter. I mean, getting it to level 5 is not going to make the difference. But, you know, that's upgraded. We've put, you know, a lot of points into our radiance. And not a lot into our strength, to be fair. But even then, when we checked, it was like literally giving them one, one damage increase. Because the scaling is really low. Again, even at level 5. And like I said, we I try to start doing the little soul-sucking thing more often. But one, you can only really do that once. Within your When you're in the normal world. When you're out of it... I don't... When you're out of it, I don't remember how you can get them back. I don't think you can without like an item or something, you know? Like naturally, I don't think there's a way to get it back. Like in the Umbral, I know you can use use them on the blisters and and get more of them 
but when you're a normal, it it, it doesn't. Uh, but again, even then, the damage you do, one, isn't real damage. Because you still have to hit them one time. If they hit you, then you just lost it. Like, you missed, missed out on all that damage. So, yeah. It's, um... Ooh, we're one shy of upgrading it. If we wouldn't have upgraded the bells, I think we could have got it. But that's fine. We can we'll get one more. I'm sure that won't be a big deal. But yeah, I'm I'm really curious if this hammer of agony would be would be better. Like in the long run. I think it meh, I mean, it scales better with strength, but our strength isn't that high anyway. So Yeah Oh look, someone dropped some bits on the ground. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> What's up with that accent? When did I change that? Thank you for the hundred bits, Etheric. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. I like the accent though. But anyway, yeah, I, you know, we'll still play tomorrow. And I'm gonna do some research and see like Am I missing something? Because, like I said, like once we pass that like literal door, my like things got way worse. Now that whole area, like I said, I don't like that area. They keep doing the same design, the same boring design over and over, where it's like, oh, you're on a you're on a slew walkway. Oh, there's two range guys, uh, two hundred miles away. Oh, there's a guy coming around the corner to push you off the edge at, for the hundredth time. Wow, aren't you shocked? Like. They do that really bad, like really, like even worse than From does, and, and From does it a lot in Elden Ring, like a lot. Uh, they don't understand that less is more sometimes. But yeah, it's I and I can't imagine playing this without a decent range weapon. Like you, like you almost have to because there's just so many ranged enemies, and a lot of times you can't get at them easily. And the jumping, platforming shit, completely unnecessary shouldn't exist just so many problems that's not even talking about the technical issues which you know now i would say in the last like couple hours it's been mostly fine i've had some pretty shitty drops here and there uh, and again even considering obs uh it's i think it's been been fine but which is really weird because like i said in the very beginning it was totally fine like for the first couple of hours uh, until we got to that Valkyrie fight, which was really rough. But until we got there, it was mostly good. But ugh. All right. Well, that's all right, BB. It's a Quaalude. <laughs> She's very chill. Um. Anyway, Twitch folks, hang out for a second. YouTube folks, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry that I'm complaining about it. But, you know, I am. I, I bit my tongue a lot. Believe it or not, I bit my tongue a lot. And I still really want to like this game. Like, if I if I was ready to give up on it, I would play something different tomorrow. But honestly, tomorrow might be the last chance I give this game until they patch. Because I... Again, unless there's just some kind of mechanic that I've missed that's like, oh shit, now I'm doing normal damage again. I... I, I just don't see it leveling out. Because again, everything is just it's just a slog. Killing everything is just and I like fighting through the areas. That's why it always annoys me when I watch like somebody play a souls like and they just run past everything like every time. Or not every time, but you know what I mean. Um I wanna fight through and you know get the XP and explore and this I'm just like go, 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 go. But it's whatever. Uh we'll see. Tomorrow will be, I think, maybe a final judgment. But anyway, uh Trish folks again, hang out. YouTube, thank you for watching. Bye.